doubleheader between your Nettleton Lady Raiders and Raiders against the Batesville Pioneers. Should be a dandy tonight. It always is whenever these two teams, these two teams tangle here in Batesville. Nettleton is coming into this game 18 and 6 on the season. Six and five in the conference.
Excel on yours. You raised your family here. Did every July 4th here refinish the floors here twice? Sized up your daughter's boyfriends here? Waited in the doorway all day when your son was coming home on leave. This place has given you all you've dreamed of, and now it's giving again in the form of a gourmet kitchen and the quietest dishwasher known to man. Realize your dream with a home equity line of credit from Simmons Bank. Dreams realized. SimmonsBank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. It's a mix and match special. Now at all Jonesboro area Domino's Pizza locations. Choose any two for $5.99 each for carryout or $6.99 each for delivery. How about a medium two-topping pizza, oven-baked sandwich, pasta in a tin, Domino stuffed cheesy bread, salad, bread twists, marble brownies, and so much more. Switch it up for lunch or dinner for the whole game. The mix and match special with any two for only $5.99 each for carryout or $6.99 each for delivery. Only at your Jonesboro area Domino's Pizza locations. Raider basketball on the NTV EAB Sports Network. So glad to have you joining us here as we're getting sent for Nettleton versus Batesville. Starting lineups for Nettleton is going to be the Juice, Mackenzie Williams, D1, Donna Douglas, Akira James, Kyla Williams, and Aubrey Butler. For Batesville, they will counter with Gabby Dawkins. Salicius Speed, Abby Hurley, Julia Berdasia, and Anaya Poole. That is the starting five for baseball. The announcements, the introduction of the starters has been completed, and we are ready to rock and roll. Daddy-o. D Donna Douglas standing in the jump circle. She is flanked by her fellow post, her fellow twin tower, the Juice, Mackenzie Williams, and it looks like Cilicia, Ciliciana Speed will be jumping against D1 Donna. Ball is in the air. The Raiders control the tip. Nettleton will be on offense first. Akira James passes right wing to Aubrey Butler. Over in the corner to Kyla Williams. Kyla picks up her dribble, passes to Aubrey, back to Akira. They get it inside to the juice. Back out over in the corner to Kyla Williams, right corner. Nettleton moving right to left on your radio dial. Akira James from three is in and out of the basket, no good. Offensive rebound by Kyla Williams. Kyla passes to Aubrey Butler. Aubrey Butler almost slips down, maintains her footing, passes to Akira James. Akira driving, picks up her dribble, gets it to the juice. The juice skip pass to Kyla Williams in the right corner. Williams for three, it's no good. And baseball's Abby Hurley comes down with the rebound. Hurley, the point guard, dribbles across half court. Now over in the left wing, picks up her dribble, looking for some help, finds it. Passes to number 44. That's Poole. Poole dribbling, kicks it out of bounds off of Poole, and that's going to be Lady Raider ball. We're scoreless here in the first quarter with six. 57 remaining in the first quarter of play. Shout out to Kobe Miller, who is convalescing at home after some oral surgery today. The juice drives the lane, misses the shot. Donna gets a rebound, misses the stick back. Juice gets a rebound, ball goes out of bounds, and it's out of bounds off of Batesville, so the Lady Raiders will inbound underneath their own goal. Kyla Williams. Gets it into Donna Douglas. Donna Douglas kicks it back out to Aubrey Butler. Butler from three, it's no good. 
And Batesville gets the rebound. They may call Kyla Williams for a foul. Actually, they're going to call a foul against Donna Douglas. That's Donna's first personal, first team foul. And it will result in Lady Pioneer basketball. Hurley passes number 52. She takes a long range three. It's no good. And Kyla Williams gets the rebound for the Lady Raiders. We're still scoreless here in the first quarter. Akira James to Donna Douglas. Donna dribbles, shoots, and makes it. Don McKenzie Williams puts Nettleton on the board and scores two to nothing. Lady Raiders over Batesville. Six minutes to play in the first quarter. Hurley with the ball for Baseball dribbling left side over to the left corner. Now she reverses direction. Ball is swatted away by Kyla Williams. Nettleton comes up with it. Good job by Kyla, and Akira James is there to complete the turnover. Aubrey Butler is whistled for a travel, and that's going to be a turnover. It'll be baseball ball. Also want to say a shout-out to Nakia Eggerson, Zaria Scales' mother, who has made it home and is doing good, and we're so thankful for that. Had a bad fall and is doing well. So shout out to Miss Nakia. I sure hope that uh, you continue to get better. Baseball with the ball. Three pointer is no good. Battle for the rebound. Baseball gets it. Speed the rebound. Two point attempt, no good. And Donna Douglas grabs the rebound for the Raiders. Passes to the point guard, Akira James. Akira over to Aubrey Butler. Lady Raiders get it into the juice. The juice from the free throw line misses. Donna Douglas gets the rebound, and on the stick back attempt, she is fouled by Gabby Dawkins. That's Gabby's first personal first team foul, and it's going to send Donna Douglas to the line. She will be shooting two, trying to add to this 2-0 Lady Raider lead. First free throw is short off the front of the rim and no good. Second free throw on its way. It is good. So Nettleton has a three to nothing lead over Batesville. We apologize, we understand we're having some technical difficulties with our camera and we're working on that right now. And I think we just lost the feed. But that's all right, they're working on getting it back. We got a crack staff here. We got Blake and Scary Jerry, the NTV crew. They will undoubtedly get us back in a hurry. Hurley drives around right side, kicks it back out. Now then the ball is blocked, shot is blocked. Bardesia tried to take the shot and Donna Douglas denied it. Out of bounds off of Donna and it will be Lady Pioneer ball. They will inbound underneath their own goal. They pass out beyond the three-point arc. Shot is blocked by the juice. McKenzie Williams blocks the shot. We'll call that a steal. It's Lady Raider basketball. Akira James to Aubrey Butler over on the right wing. Trying to get it into the juice. The ball is stolen by Abby Hurley. Stolen again, this time by the Lady Raiders, Akira James. Akira. Gets it into the juice. The juice has a clear lane to the basket, and she makes the layup. Five to nothing. Nettleton over Batesville here in the first quarter. Hurley, coast to coast, misses the layup. And Kyla Williams, Kyla makes the layup and is fouled. Should be going to the line, shooting the and one. Foul is charged against. Celicia Speed, first personal, second team foul. Puts Kyla Williams, the 5'5 senior, at the line. Her shot, her free throw is up and no good. Rattles around and out. And Batesville has the ball. Nettleton has a 7-0 lead. If we were playing ping pong, it'd be game over. Skunk rules. We would go with a win. We're not playing ping pong, however. Batesville misses the shot. They get the offensive rebound. Hurley from a long range three, no good. Donna Douglas grabs the rebound for the Lady Raiders. 
Passes to Aubrey Butler. Aubrey Butler makes the layup, and the Lady Raiders are up nine to nothing. Well, you talk about getting a bad taste out of your mouth after that Paragold loss. Whoo, mercy daddy. These Lady Raiders taking it to the Lady Pioneers here in the first quarter. Three minutes remaining, nine to nothing the score. We're in the first quarter. Hurley drives the paint and she makes the layup. First points of the night for the Lady Pioneers. And they come with about two minutes and 45 seconds. 2.40 on the clock right now. Nettleton with a nine to two lead. Kyla Williams, right corner. Nettleton to Akira James. Akira James from three, and it's good. Akira James sinks the three, giving Nettleton a 12 to two lead over Batesville. Away from the ball, they charge Donna Douglas with the foul. That's her second personal, second team foul. And it's gonna result in Donna taking a risk. Kiki Brown comes in to spell her. 2.25 remaining in the first quarter. The Lady Raiders with a 12 to two lead over the Lady Pioneers of Batesville. Very important game. All these conference games are important for sure, but Nettleton battling to get into the state tournament. Hurley. Drives, misses the shot, but is fouled. Foul is charged against McKenzie Williams. First personal, third team foul. Abby Hurley will be at the line, and she will be shooting two for the Lady Pioneers. Her first free throw is good. That's three points on the night for Hurley. Makes the score 12-3. to three. Second free throw is also good. Hurley with four points on the night. That matches her total against the Raiders back in January as Nettleton defeated Batesville then 52 to 47. Right now it's 12 to four. Lady Raiders up by eight over Batesville with just over two minutes to play in the first quarter. Nettleton with the ball, top of the key, Collins. Jessica Cullen, skip pass now over to Aubrey Butler. Butler from three, it's no good. And Batesville's Anaya Poole Grabs the rebound. Poole takes the ball down the court herself. Now she drives. Running layup is good. Anaya Poole scored 18 against us at Nettleton in January, and she brings the Lady Pioneers to within six. It's 12 to six for the, for the Lady Raiders with a six-point lead. Aubrey Butler to Jessica Collins. Over in the right corner, Kyla Williams. Kyla Williams. Passes to Kiki Brown. Back out to Aubrey Butler. Butler from three, it's no good. Batesville gets the rebound. Berdasia with the rebound. In transition, the Lady Pioneers miss a layup. Kiki Brown, excuse me, Aubrey Butler gets the rebound. Pass to Jessica Collins. Collins inside to the juice. The juice from the post makes the shot. Six points on the night for the juice. Nettleton up 14 to six. And the Lady Raiders have already matched their total from the last game when it comes to scoring. The foul is going to be charged against McKenzie Williams. And actually, correction, it's not against McKenzie Williams. It's charged against Jessica Collins. And it's going to put Salise Speed at the line. She'll be shooting two. She makes the first one, and that makes the score 14 to seven. Two touchdowns to one. Nettleton over the Lady Pioneers. Second free throw. It's good. 14 to eight the score. Nettleton with a six point lead over Batesville. Jessica Collins takes it across the half court line. Passes over to Kyla Williams, inside to the juice. The juice, spin move, shoots, misses. However, she's fouled, and the juice is going to be going to the line. She will be shooting two. Foul charge against Celise Speed, second personal, third team foul. 32 seconds to play in the first quarter. Your score at Nettleton 14, Batesville 8. The juice on the loose and at the line makes the first free throw. Seven points on the night for the Juice. 
She gives Nettleton a 15 to eight lead here in the first quarter. McKenzie's second shot is good and the juice has eight points. Nettleton has a 16 to eight lead. We're doubling up the Lady Pioneers here in the first quarter, 25 seconds to play. Hurley drives the paint, shoots, makes it, and is fouled. She'll be going to the line and she will be shooting the and one. The foul's charged against Jessica Collins. That's Jessica's second personal fourth team foul and it's gonna put Hurley at the line. Nettleton's up 16 to 10, but Batesville's coming on here. The free throw was good and it's a five point game. Nettleton 16, Batesville 11. That's the score with 20 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Jessica Collins across half court, passes to Kyla Williams. Kyla Williams looking left, looking right. 11 seconds to play here in the game, in the uh, first quarter of this game. Four seconds, they need to get a shot. Allie Linderman in, Allie Linderman throws up a, a shot, a running shot, no good. And the score at the end of the first quarter is Nettleton 11, Batesville, excuse, Nettleton 16, Batesville 11. Back in 60 seconds for more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Your medical needs are personal, and the way you manage those needs should be personal as well. The team at Southern Home Healthcare is local, knowledgeable, and courteous, giving you the customized care you and your family deserve. When facing breathing challenges, the on-staff respiratory therapists at Southern Home Healthcare provide support and guidance just for you, and you can sleep better with the help of their CPAP and BiPAP therapy. Plus, treat your strains, sprains, and pain with the help of Southern Home Healthcare's high-quality bracing devices. Go online to southernhomehealthjonesboro.com. Trucks, clothes, and fashion have changed drastically over the 68 years our family has been in the car business. But one thing that hasn't changed is the Glen Sane commitment to serving our customers and communities. Throughout our history, our customers and employees have become family. Our history of quality sales, service, and strong personal relationships have kept our customers coming back for over four generations. Whether you're looking to buy a GMC, Chevrolet, Buick, or Ford, the Glen Sane dealerships look forward to serving you and your family for years to come. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Craig Miller, Jerry Brooks, Blake Isbell. We are here at Batesville where the score is Nettleton 16, Batesville 11 as we start the second quarter. Batesville with the ball. Shot is missed and Kiki Brown gets the rebound. Passes to Akira James. Akira hustles the ball up court. They get it to Kiki Brown, middle of the lane. Kiki drives, misses the layup. However, she is fouled. Going to be shooting two. The foul is charged against Montgomery, Kaylee Montgomery. First personal, fourth team foul. It'll put Kiki Brown at the line, and she will be shooting two. She makes the first shot, that makes the score 17 to 11. Second shot on the way. It is good, 19 to 11, excuse me, 18 to 11 the score. Nettleton up seven with 7.22 to play here in the second quarter. Hurley. Passes the ball out of bounds. She was trying to find Anaya Poole over in the left corner and Poole cut inside and didn't realize the ball was heading her way. Ball sails out of bounds and Nettleton will benefit from the turnover. In the corner, Allie Linderman from three. It's no good. And the rebound goes to Anaya Poole for Batesville. She passes it to Hurley, the point guard. Hurley working against Akira James. Kicks it back out. Bas two point basket. The J is no good. And an offensive rebound, however, and a stick back by Anaya Poole. She's got four points, and that makes the score Nettleton 18, Batesville 13. Lady Pioneers within five. We beat them by five back in January. Nettleton gets it into the juice. The juice makes the four footer. And that's 10 points on the night for Mackenzie Williams. Big night for Mackenzie. She has half of Nettleton's points. Nettleton has a 20 to 13 lead. 
Two point shot, no good, but they stick back by Julia Berdasia. She is fouled. Kyla Williams charged with the foul on the shot, fifth team foul, and it's going to put Berdasia at the line shooting two. 6.15 to play in the second quarter. Nettleton now up 20 to 14 as Berdasia sinks her first of two free throws. Six point lead for the Lady Raiders. Second free throw is good. So the Lady Raider lead cut to five, 20 to 15. Nettleton has not trailed in this game. Akira James across half court, looking to her left, now passing to her left, Allie Linderman, to Kyla Williams in the left corner. Nettleton working right to left on your radio dial. Loose ball, the juice has it. The juice drives, shoots, misses. No foul called. A little bit of contact, but no foul. And Batesville gets the rebound. Lady Pioneers now with the ball over in the left corner. Dribbling in is Poole. She passes to number four. Now Poole dribbling across the lane to three-point land. She sinks the three. My goodness, Anaya Poole dribbled all the way across the lane over to the three-point territory, turned around and just canned a three. It's a two-point game. Nettleton 20, Batesville 18. 5.20 to play here in the second quarter. Kyla Williams into the juice, now to Akira James. Back into the juice, the juice makes the basket. And Mackenzie Williams is having some kind of a game. She's got 12 points. Nettleton leads 22 to 18 with five minutes remaining in the second quarter. Hurley walks it across half court. Drives, passes in to number 44, Anaya Poole. A young lady can play, Hurley. Working against the Kyra James. Woo, a little moving screen there they got away with. Pulled, get it, tries to get it into the post. Good job defending there by Ali Linderman. Deflects the ball out. Baseball still has it. Pull drives, misses the layup, and Mackenzie Williams gets the rebound. Passes to Akira James. Akira across the timeline to Ali Linderman, to Kyla Williams. Kyla Williams back to Linderman. Linderman skip passes to Akira James. Akira back to Linderman. Linderman gets it into the juice. That's a good strategy. The juice spins, kicks it back out to Akira. Akira James from three. It's no good. And Batesville gets the rebound. Nettleton with a four-point lead with four minutes to play, just over four minutes to play here in the second quarter. Hurley working against James. Akira James passes to number 20. For the Lady Pioneers, Kiki Brown with some good defense there. Three-pointer, no good by Batesville, and the Juice grabs the rebound. What a game so far by Mackenzie Williams. Here come the Lady Raiders, Allison Linderman to Kyla Williams. They get it inside to the Juice, the Juice to Allie Linderman. Linderman from three is no good, and Batesville gets the rebound. 22 to 18, Nettleton with a four-point lead, 3.30 to play in the second quarter. Hurley, long range three, it's good. 10 points on the night from Hurley. She makes it a one-point game. Nettleton 22, Batesville 21. Hurley banked that one in off the glass, and Coach Tim Hawkins decides to take a timeout. We'll take that timeout with him with 3.19 to play in the second quarter. Your score is Nettleton 22, Batesville 21. Back in 30 seconds, some more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Farmers and Merchants Bank announces the lobby of our new branch in Jonesboro is now open. The drive through is an MVP center with live video tellers 7 to 7 weekdays and 9 till noon on Saturdays. So in addition to our beautiful bank on Highland, you can also visit our new branch at the corner of Southwest Drive and Parker. More MVPs, more ATMs, more me banking at Farmers and Merchants Bank, member FDIC. Craig Miller, Blake Isbell, Jerry Brooks here in the NEA Baptist broadcast position high over the court. Pioneer Jim, NEA Baptist Healthcare for the next century. Nettleton leads baseball 22 to 21. We got ourselves a dandy of a basketball game right here. Nettleton with a one point lead with 316 to play in the second quarter. Aubrey Poole passes to Akira James, back to Aubrey Poole, and Kyla Williams over in the corner. Kyla loses the handle on the basketball, it goes out of bounds, and Batesville went inbound. So 
So a turnover gives Batesville a chance to take their first lead of the ball game. They score on this possession. That's exactly what they'll do. Nettleton 22, Batesville 21, Pioneers with the ball. Hurley, their hard-charging point guard with the ball, top of the key, now passes left wing to number 20. 22, rather. 22 drives, shoots, misses, battling for her own rebound, but Nettleton gets it. Akira James, and Akira is tripped. Fouls. Number two, Vicki Hall. I believe that's what the announcer said her name. I don't have the young lady's name on my roster here. Maybe a freshman call up. But she gets her first foul of the game. Nettleton now with the ball. The juice has the ball swatted away from her. She's trying to pass it to a Kyra. It's going to be a jump ball as the juice battling for that loose ball. Thankfully, the possession arrow is pointing Nettleton's way. So the Lady Raiders will inbound underneath their own goal with 2.19 to play in the second quarter. Nettleton has a 22-21 lead over Batesville. Akira James passes all the way over to the left corner. Now then another skip pass back to Akira. Kiki from 15 foot, no good. The juice gets the rebound and the juice puts it back in. 14 points on the night for McKenzie Williams. Nettleton has a 24 to 21 lead over Batesville with two minutes remaining in the second quarter. Hurley now with the ball for the Pioneers. Young lady, good ball handler, working against Akira James, who's a good defender. Shot is up and it's good. Hurley has 12 points on the night and she brings the Pioneers to within one. It's Nettleton 24, Batesville 23, 130 to play in the second quarter. Akira James, mid-range J, no good, goes out of bounds and it's going to be Batesville ball. Jessica Collins checking into the game for the Lady Raiders. Hurley walks the ball up the court. 121 on the clock as I just glanced at it here in the second quarter. Nettleton has a 24-23 lead. They get it in to number 22, Hadley Cunningham. A correction, number 52, Julia Burdasia, and she sinks the layup, gives Batesville their first lead of the ball game, 25 to 24. One minute remaining in the second quarter. Nettleton led, has led this entire game, but Batesville leads right now. Turnover as Collins trying to pass the ball and it's stolen away. And Batesville with the ball with a one point lead with 45 seconds remaining. Three, three ball, no good by the Lady Pioneers. The Juice gets the rebound. Passes to Akira James. Akira going for the layup, has the ball swatted away from her. Goes off of Akira's leg and out of bounds. And it is Lady Pioneer basketball. 35 seconds to play, so the shot clock will not be in effect on this possession. Batesville can hold it to the last shot if they so choose. Hurley working against Akira James. Passes to Bardasia. Now right corner, three ball. It's no good. Nettleton's Collins gets the rebound. 15 seconds. Nettleton, the ball is uh, knocked out of bounds by Batesville and the foul is charged number two I believe her name is Hall second personal 16th foul her name is not Hall I do apologize I can't hardly hear what the PA guy says I don't have her name on my roster we'll try to run that down for you five seconds on the clock the juice from three is no good and the rebound Kyla Williams rebounds and she sinks the Bucket at the buzzer, and, a, and Kyla Williams will be going to the line, shooting the and one. Her two-point bucket gave Nettleton a one-point lead, 26 to 24, and now then she has a chance to make the and one. It's up. It's good. So what a great way to end the first half of play 
Kyla Williams with a conventional three-point play. Gives Nettleton a 27-25 point lead at halftime. Back in four minutes with the Halftime Show, which is brought to you by Kavanaugh Auto Group. Back in four, Raider basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Ship anything, anywhere at your number one shipping source, PacMail in Jonesboro. Bring anything to PacMail, and they'll pack it, ship it, crate it, freight it, no matter how big, fragile, or awkwardly shaped. Since 1998, PacMail has been your number one shipping source, the only authorized shipper of all the major carriers, UPS, FedEx, DHL, the Postal Service, and freight services, all in one store. At PacMail, you have choices. Here's PacMail Tim to tell us more. Trey, we are the experts at finding solutions for even the most demanding shipping situations. And our experienced staff can help you choose the best option. So if you need to go to the post office, then FedEx, or all the way out to UPS terminal, and then get that international shipment to DHL, you can do it all in one fast, convenient, and friendly place. PacMail. See, I told you, PacMail ships anything, anywhere, through any shipper. PacMail. Voted the number one printing, packaging, and shipping store in Jonesboro. Don't trust your shipping needs to just anybody. Trust PacMail. 361 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro. Ship anything, anywhere, today at PacMail. Nettles- High School Athletics is brought to you by Gateway Tire and Service Center and Toyo Tires. Where there's always one thing you can count on, we go the distance for you. Before you hit the road for a trip across country or across town, drop by Gateway Tire and Service Center and check out the great deals on Toyo Tires. Whether it's tires or auto repair, you can always count on one thing. At Gateway Tire and Toyo Tires, we go the distance for you. At Gateway Tire in Jonesboro, we go the distance for you. Hello, I'm estate planning and elder law attorney Chad Oldham. More and more often today, I hear clients tell me that the only thing golden about the golden years is that it takes all the gold to grow old. Don't be a victim of rising health care and nursing home costs. Be prepared. Have a plan. Contact us today to find out how we help our clients protect and preserve assets for family and future generations. The Oldham Law Firm, 603 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro, or visit us on the web at oldhamlawfirm.com. This is Keith Bear with Baird Auto Group. There's nothing that brings our communities together like high school sports. No matter what the scoreboard says, it's a winning feeling just to be a part of it. At Baird, we want you to have the feeling anytime you come into one of our dealerships. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, no problem. Don't buy anywhere else until you shop at Baird location near you. Don't get a bad deal, get a Baird deal. Because why pay more? No matter what the season, it's always a great time to go to Wings to Go. Whether it's football, whether it's basketball, whether it's baseball, whether it's wrestling, whether it's anything, the wings, the salads, the hamburgers, everything they have at Wings to Go is always flavorful and it's always ready. All that has to happen is you come down and enjoy them. Happy winging from Wings to Go. Tired of slow internet? Feel like you're stuck in the old days? It's time to catch up with Empower, delivered by Craighead Electric. Thanks to Empower, you don't have to wait for high-speed internet. Our new cutting-edge technology makes our services more reliable and faster than the competition. Call 870-336-0999 to check internet availability in your area. That's 870-336-0999. Empower, high-speed internet for your neck of the woods. This is Bob Moore with More Air Conditioning, and we're celebrating February all month long. That's right, it's February because the entire month of February when you purchase a new air conditioning system for more, we'll give you a free furnace. Now is the best time to buy and save on a new energy efficient HVAC system. Call more air conditioning today, 870-336-2023 or visit us at moreac.com. Don't settle for less. You deserve more, don't settle for less. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. The Lady Raiders lead Batesville 27 to 25 here at half. And I'd like to welcome you in to the Kavanaugh Auto Group halftime show brought to you by the Kavanaugh Auto Group. If you want to see their complete inventory from the comfort of your home, all you got to do is log on to KavanaughCars.com. That's KavanaughCars.com. Dot com and you can see every truck, every car, every SUV. We greatly appreciate the good people at Kavanaugh Auto Group for sponsoring the halftime show. Well, the Lady Raiders jumped out to an early lead in this this game. They led 16 to 11 at the end of the first quarter, led by Mackenzie Williams, who scored eight of those 16 points. 
Batesville grabbed the momentum and outscored Nettleton 14 to 11 in the second quarter. Nettleton has a 27 to 25 lead at half, and it is thanks to a heck of a play by Kyla Williams right at the buzzer. She grabbed an offensive rebound, made the stick back, was fouled, and went to the line and cool as a cucumber, she sank the free throw. That gave Nettleton a 27 to 25 lead here at the half. Nettleton is led by Mackenzie Williams. She has 14 points on the night. Kyla Williams has five points on the night as well. And also for Nettleton, Akira James has three. Aubrey Butler, two. Kiki Brown, two. Donna Douglas has one. And it looks like, those of you who are watching on the live stream, Jordan Pegram is about to try to sink a half-court shot. It's up. Oh, off the front of the rim and no good. Jordan Pegram, he can flat out hit a, th a half-court shot. I promise you that. He made two of them the last broadcast we had from Raider Jim. I believe that's is that downtown T.J. Brown who took a shot at one. And yeah, that's Fred. Right said Fred all the way over the backboard right said Fred Fred Atkins missed that shot fun at the old ballpark here tonight for Batesville they are led by Abby Hurley she has 12 points Anaya Poole has seven here at the break it's 27 to 25 Nettleton with a two-point lead this has been the Kavanaugh Auto Group halftime show again if you want to see Kavanaugh Auto Group's complete inventory from the comfort of your home just log on to KavanaughCars.com We'll be back in 30 seconds with the second half. Raider basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. You love your truck. Implacid Tire Service is here to help you make it even better. With custom wheels, leveling kits, and the area's best selection of light truck tires, ATs, mud tires, and RTs up to 35s and bigger. Implacid Tire Service has the tires you want in stock today. And we'll help you select a great combination that gets your truck exactly the way you want it. In Jonesboro and South Caraway, and now at our newest location on East Johnson Avenue. The biggest selection, the best service, and the lowest prices on light truck tires are at Implacid Tire Service. Yeah! Raider basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. We're still at halftime here at Batesville. And Nettleton has a 27 to 25 lead over Batesville here in the girls game. If you're watching on the YouTube stream, Jordan Pegram just missed another half court shot. Can't believe that. Pegram 0 for 2 from the, uh, from the half court line as they're having their um, half court shooting contest. Jordan put on a clinic. Made it look like a, a modern day Jerry Rook at Nettleton as he made a couple of half court shots in uh, the last time that we played at Nettleton. Mackenzie Williams also hit one. So he's, uh, he's Raiders and Lady Raiders with a little bit of long range artillery on display. Uh, we are about two and a half minutes away from the uh, second half getting started. So I'll tell you what let's do. We'll take a two minute break when we come back, we'll have the second half for you. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. When you bank at First Security, you're choosing better for yourself and fellow Arkansans. Better service from friendly professionals who really invest in your goals. Better solutions with convenient tools and smart resources. And better support for the things that matter to you, as well as the communities that matter to us all. Because finding your better at First Security makes Arkansas better, too. First Security. Bank better. Member FDIC. For 10 years, Arkansas Children's Hospital Jonesboro Clinic has delivered the highest quality pediatric care. Whether it's a follow-up visit for a heart condition or genetic screening for a baby on the way, we're right here in town. Our team is growing to meet the needs of the kids of Northeast Arkansas, so you don't have to hop on the highway for expert care. We wake up every day ready to make kids better today and healthier tomorrow. Visit archildrens.org slash NEA. 
Timo Smokehouse Barbecue on Johnson at Hilltop and on Main Street across from Jonesboro High School. Now, I'm from Memphis and I know barbecue, but there are people from Memphis that travel to Jonesboro to sample, taste, and enjoy Demos Barbecue. No kidding. They come from Memphis, so no need to go anywhere else. Right here, the best barbecue is at Demos. Any of the ribs, any of the plates, you can enjoy it all at Demos Smokehouse Barbecue. My mouth is watering. Your vehicle is a personal and important investment. At Central Collision Center, we're more than collision repair. We do everything from minor paint touch-ups and windshield replacements to framework. We're committed to customer satisfaction and provide the highest quality of service. At Central Collision Center, we provide honest and expert auto care and offer a written lifetime warranty and on-site rental car arrangements. Stop by or give us a call today to schedule your free estimate. Central Collision Center. Professional, convenient, reliable. Find Central Chevrolet on Stadium and online at centralcollisionctr.com. Raider basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Second half just about to get underway. The score is Nettleton 27, Batesville 25 here in this girls game. Pivotal matchup for the Lady Raiders as they need to get back on the winning track in conference to keep a hold of that number four spot. They're actually tied for third right now. But the top four teams get to go to state, and that's what the Lady Raiders want to do. you got to get in it to win it. Baseball with the ball. Three-pointer is good by Anaya Poole. A young lady is some kind of player. Ten points on the night for Anaya Poole, and she gives Batesville a 28-27 lead over Nettleton here at the outset of the third quarter. Ooh, mercy. Nettleton with the ball. Aubrey Butler to Akira James. Akira skip pass over to just to Akira Williams. Now back over to Akira to Aubrey Butler. Shot fake and she passes to they get it into Juice to Donna Douglas. Donna Douglas goes up and D1 Donna is fouled. She'll be going to the line. She'll be shooting two. Foul charge against Berdea. First personal, first team foul. Donna Douglas at the line. She makes her first free throw. Donna Douglas, a tremendous athlete. She is, believe me when I say, world-class track athlete. Won the overall shot put competition last year. She makes her second free throw. She did that as a sophomore. She won the shot put state championship as a sophomore. She gives Nettleton a two point, a one point lead, 29 to 28. Hurley driving against Akira, misses the shot, gets her own rebound, loose ball, Akira James has it. Fast break, Aubrey Butler. Aubrey pulls back, now spins, shoots, and makes it. Nifty move by Aubrey Butler, and she gives Nettleton a three point lead, 31 to 28, Butler with four points on the night. Hurley dribbling right side over in the right wing. She pulls up, takes a three, misses it, and Kyla Williams gets the rebound. Passes to Aubrey Butler. Fast break layup by Butler is good. And Butler's sixth point of the night gives Nettleton a 33-28 lead with 6.20 to play in the third quarter. Coach Stan Fowler says, I need to take a timeout and talk this over. 30-second timeout. We'll take a 30-second break. Raiders up 33 to 28 here in the third quarter, 619 remaining. Back in 30 seconds, Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Whether you're replacing an old appliance or remodeling your whole kitchen, the appliances you need are right around the corner with GE Appliances at Tucker's Appliance Superstore in Jonesboro. Shop timeless designs and time-saving features on the appliances that are built to last in the busiest homes. Visit Tucker's Appliance today and upgrade your home your way with GE Appliances and your local experts. Shop Tucker's Appliance today and save. Tucker's Appliance. Third quarter action, Nettleton up 33-28 to 28 here at Batesville. 6.14 on the clock as the Lady Pioneers get it across half court. Hurley with the ball in the left wing. They're moving right to left on your radio dial. Hurley passes back out to Berdea. Berdea's three is no good. Nothing but air as it goes out of bounds, and it's going to be Lady Raider basketball. Kyla Williams to Akira James, and the Lady Raider point guard across half court. Shout out to Carmen McShan, who I have a feeling is watching the game as she is 
recuperating from ACL surgery. We sure wish the best for Carmen. Looking forward to seeing her play next year. Nettleton with the ball. They get it into D1 Donna. Donna Douglas dribble, dri dribble, shot, and it's good. Donna Douglas with four points here in the third quarter. Nettleton has a seven-point lead over Batesville. Scores Nettleton 35, Batesville 28. Five minutes and 20 seconds to play. It's a steal. Akira James with the steal. Akira driving, and she is fouled by Hurley. She's going to go to the line, and she's going to shoot two. That is Abby Hurley's first personal foul, second team foul. And it's going to put Akira James at the free throw line. She will be getting two shots. Her first shot is up, and it's good. Akira with four points. Nettleton pulling away a little bit here in the third quarter. 36 to 28 the score. Lady Raiders with the lead over Batesville. Second free throw by Akira is no good. However, Donna gets the rebound. The stick back attempt is no good, but she is fouled by Celise Speed. And D1 Donna Douglas is going to be at the line. She will be shooting two. Her first free throw is good. Good shooter's touch there. Hit the front of the rim, then the glass, and then through the nylon. Second free throw gives Nettleton a 10-point lead. Donna makes both of her free throws, and the score is 38 to 28. Nettleton with a 10-point lead over Batesville. Lady Raiders on a run here. Turnover, Kyla Williams with the steal. She passes to Akira James, to D1 Donna Douglas, and D1 with the layup. What a quarter that Donna Douglas is having. She gives Nettleton a 40 to 28 lead. Donna has eight points here in this quarter. Whoo, mercy daddy. Lady Raiders with the momentum. Three pointer no good, Mackenzie Williams with the rebound. Fast break for the Lady Raiders. Aubrey Butler to D1. Donna, she dribbles, she shoots, she misses, and Batesville gets the rebound. Lady Pioneers on the attack. Poole driving, makes the layup. Anaya Poole is a force. 12 points on the night for that young lady. The score is Nettleton 40, Batesville 30. Nettleton led by two at the half, they lead by 10 here with four minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the third quarter. From the corner, Kyla Williams for three. It's no good, and Batesville gets the rebound. Wild and woolly action here at Batesville. Hurley across half court, sending at the 15-foot line of the volleyball court, whose lines are still on the basketball court here at Batesville. They get it into number four. Baseline drive, she passes to speed, and it's a jump ball. Number four is Gabby Dawkins. Jump ball, possession arrow, pointing the good guy's way, and so Nettleton will have the ball. 3.49 to play in the third quarter. Nettleton with a 40-30 to 30 lead over Batesville. So glad that you're hanging out with us on your Friday night here on Nettleton Television and the EAB Sports Network. Aubrey Butler with the ball, passes to Akira James, dribbles over to the right wing. Now to the juice, Mackenzie Williams. Dribble drive, shot, it's good. And Mackenzie Williams has 16 points on the night. The Lady Raiders up by a dozen, 42 to 30 over Batesville. Hurley working against Akira. Loose ball, Akira saves it. Flips it back to Hurley, unfortunately. Speed misses the shot. Hurley gets the rebound and is fouled on the stick back attempt. I believe they're going to whistle McKenzie Williams with the foul. Yep, that is McKenzie's second personal. Just Nettleton's first team foul this half. It sends Hurley to the line. She'll be shooting two. She makes the first of her two free throws. She has 13 points on the night, and Nettleton's lead is cut to 11, 42 to 31. Stan Fowler takes a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with him with 3.06 to play in the third quarter. Lady Raiders up 42-31, back in 30. Raider basketball on the EB Sports Network. 
Farmers and Merchants Bank announces the lobby of our new branch in Jonesboro is now open. The drive through is an MVP center with live video tellers 7 to 7 weekdays and 9 till noon on Saturdays. So in addition to our beautiful bank on Highland, you can also visit our new branch at the corner of Southwest Drive and Parker. More MVPs, more ATMs, more me banking at Farmers and Merchants Bank, member FDIC. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. We're in the third quarter. 3.06 to play in the third quarter. Nettleton 42, baseball 31. Hurley at the line. Her free throw is good. She makes both of her free throws, and it's a 10-point Lady Raider lead. Full court pressure now being applied on the Lady Raiders. They get it across half court, then they turn the ball over. Now it's back to, to Nettleton. Aubrey Butler gets it in the D1, Donna, and Donna Douglas pass to the juice. It's a little bit strong. It goes out of bounds as like Donna was going up to sink a basket. Instead of the last minute, she gave a hard pass to McKenzie. McKenzie was in rebound mode. Ball goes out of bounds, and it's Lady Pioneer ball. Hurley has a lane to the basket, shoots and misses. Donna Douglas grabs the rebound. Strong rebound by D1. Donna passes to Akira James. Here come the Lady Raiders from the corner. Shot fake. They get it inside to the juice. The juice misses the layup. Donna Douglas grabs the rebound, and she's fouled on the stick back attempt. Nine points on the night for Donna. And that is Verdesia second foul, fourth team foul against the Lady Pioneers. Donna Douglas' his first free throw, it's good. Nine points in this quarter, 10 points on the night for Donna Douglas. She has really turned it on here in the third quarter. That's a big reason why the Lady Raiders have an 11 point lead. Make it a 12 point lead as D1 Donna sinks her second free throw. 12 point lead for Nettleton, 44 to 32. 220 to play here in the third quarter. Lady Raiders play in with passion and fire tonight after a lackluster performance their last time out. Three ball is good by Abby Hurley, and Nettleton's lead is cut to nine, 44 to 35. Lady Raiders with a nine-point lead. Nettleton with the ball, less than two minutes to play here in the third quarter. Akira James gets it in to D1 Donna. Donna back out to Aubrey Butler to Akira James to Kyla Williams. Kyla bounce pass, trying to get into Donna Douglas. It's denied. It's knocked out of bounds by Hadley Cunningham. Nettleton will inbound underneath their own goal. They get it to D1 Donna. Donna sinks the basket. Man, she is filling up the scorebook. I don't have much more room in her column here in the third quarter. She's given Nettleton a 46 to 35 lead. She's got 12 points in this quarter. What a quarter by Donna Douglas. Air ball by the Lady Pioneers. Kyla Williams is fighting for the rebound. Goes out of bounds off of Kyla. Good hustle by the Lady Raiders senior, the sister of Tony Williams, who is one of the best NTV students I've ever had. Great member of the Raider band as well. Shout out to Tony. Shout out to her sister Kyla, who's out there competing as hard as she can for Raider Nation. Poole misses the three-pointer. And Nettleton gets the rebound. Akira to, Ka to Kyla Williams to the Kiki Brown. Misses the shot. Stick back attempt. No good by Mackenzie Williams who grabbed the offensive rebound. It goes out of bounds off of Batesville. Nettleton will inbound from the baseline underneath their own goal. 111 on the clock in the third quarter. Nettleton up 46 to 35 over Batesville. Akira James from three, it's no good. The Juice gets the rebound, misses the stick back. Kiki Brown on the ground, and she is, when she grabs the ball, Coach Tim Hawkins calls a timeout. 30-second timeout with 57 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Nettleton up 46 to 35, back in 30. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Five years of memories, 25 years of smiles, opportunities, and friends. 
25 years of community because of you. We forged long lasting partnerships that have made our communities better. We can all agree that a lot has changed in 25 years, but our promise to always be a true community bank remains the same. Our roots run deep. Our commitment to you runs deeper. We are celebrating 25 years of first community bank and the best is yet to come. Member FDIC, Equal Opportunity Lender. Raider basketball on the NTV EAB Sports Network. Nettleton up 46 to 35 over Batesville. 57 seconds to play in the third quarter. They inbound, the Lady Raiders do. And now then, Akira James from the left wing. Skip pass right corner. Kyla Williams from three. It's no good, and Batesville gets the rebound. Hurley, they get the ball to that point guard as quickly as they can. She's the only one that brings it up the floor for Batesville. Stan Fowler really leans on her. Pull drives the lane, misses the layup. Mackenzie Williams gets the rebound, passes to Aubrey Butler. Aubrey across the timeline, dangerous pass to Kyla Williams. The ball is out of bounds off of Kyla Williams, and it will be Batesville ball. 26 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Nettleton with a 46 to 35 lead. Batesville here on this last possession, you bet they would like to get the momentum going their way heading into the fourth quarter. Hurley walks it across, 15 seconds on the clock. They get it in, the number 22, and she makes the basket. That's Hadley Cunningham, and she makes it a 46-37 Raider lead, Lady Raider lead. Four seconds on the clock as they get the ball to Aubrey. You're going to have to shoot it. Aubrey shoots, and she makes the buzzer-beating three-pointer. Aubrey Butler with a... Dagger for the Lady Raiders, 49 to 37 your score at the end of the third quarter. 60 second break when we come back. We've got the fourth quarter for you. Raider basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Who mercy daddy. Mercy daddy. Did you know you have access to medical weight loss within the only integrated health system in Northeast Arkansas? Get a head start on your 2023 health and fitness by booking an appointment with the NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic. Crush your goals and feel the results while saving money with the lowest cash price in town. Call 936-8000 to book your appointment with the NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic and let nurse practitioner Angie Jones tailor a plan specifically for you. That's 936-8000, NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic. Medical weight loss you can trust. Best savings anywhere at First National Bank. For a limited time only, a 13-month CD special at 4.03 annual percentage yield. You can visit fnbank.net slash specials to lock in your rate today. Also available by visiting any of our 23 locations in Arkansas and Tennessee. 13 months, 4.03 APY at First National Bank. Offer valid as of November 17, 2022. Rate subject to change. Valid at all locations. $1,000 minimum to open. Penalty for early withdrawal. Member FDIC equal housing lender. Fourth quarter action, fourth quarter underway here. Nettleton with a 49 to 37 point lead over Batesville. Lady Pioneers with the ball. They get it to pull underneath and she sinks the basket. It is 49 to 39. Lady Raiders with a 10 point lead with seven and a half minutes to play in this game. They get it into the juice, the juice driving the lane, shoots and scores. Mackenzie Williams with 18 points on the night. Lady Raider lead back up to 12. 51 for Nettleton, 39 for Batesville. Hurley across the half court line. Backs up to the jump circle, breathing heavily as she has flat been working tonight. From the left wing, a three pointer is good by Anaya Poole. Anaya Poole has 17 points and she brings Batesville to within nine, 51 to 42. The Juice driving in and from behind, she has the ball knocked out of bounds by Anaya Poole. That young lady is everywhere, man. She's just like Johnny Cash. She's been everywhere here tonight. 6.54 to play in this game. Nettleton up 51 to 42. Kyla Williams to inbound. She does so, gets it to Kyra James. To the Juice, the Juice has her shot stripped away. Fast break by Batesville, Poole Corrals it underneath and makes the basket. It's a 51 to 44 game. Nettleton's lead cut to seven. Let's go Lady Raiders. Whew. Still by Hurley. Hurley hustles down. Another turnover. Nettleton has it now. Akira James with the ball. Now then Batesville has it. Pool battling. They get it to Kyla Williams for the Lady Raiders. The juice inside to D1 Donna. Donna misses the shot underneath, and Batesville gets the rebound. 
Mercy, Hadley Cunningham dribbles down and she's gonna be fouled by Aubrey Butler. Aubrey with her first personal, second team. Shop Tucker's Appliance today and save. Tucker's Appliance. Farmers and Merchants Bank announces the lobby of our new branch in Jonesboro is now open. The drive through is an MVP center with live video tellers 7 to 7 weekdays and 9 till noon on Saturdays. So in addition to our beautiful bank on Highland, you can also visit our new branch at the corner of Southwest Drive and Parker. More MVPs, more ATMs, more me banking at Farmers and Merchants Bank, member FDIC. Twenty-five years of memories, twenty-five years of smiles, opportunities, and friends. Twenty-five years of community. Because of you, we forged long-lasting partnerships that have made our communities better. We can all agree that a lot has changed in twenty-five years, but our promise to always be a true community bank remains the same. Our roots run deep. Our commitment to you runs deeper. We're celebrating twenty-five years of First Community Bank, and the best is yet to come. Member FDIC, Equal Opportunity Lender. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. We want to welcome you in to the Domino's Pizza postgame show as Nettleton has defeated Batesville 65-49 to here in the first game of this Conference 5A East doubleheader. Domino's Pizza, you can make game night even better by ordering online at dominoes.com or from the Domino's app. They're the sponsor of the postgame show. Well, Lady Raiders led nearly the whole way. They Led 16 to 11 at the end of the first quarter. Baseball actually came back and took a lead in the second quarter. It didn't last long as Nettleton outscored them, uh, scored three points at the bucket, a conventional three-point play at the buzzer, I should say. Kyla Williams with that three-point play. Gave Nettleton a 27 to 25 lead at the half. Nettleton pulled away in the third quarter thanks to the tenacious play of Donna Douglas underneath the basket. Donna scored 12 points in the third quarter. Nettleton outscored Batesville 22 to 12, and they went into the fourth quarter with a 49 to 37 lead, a lead that they expanded on as they outscored Batesville 16 to 12 in the fourth quarter. The final score, Nettleton 65, Batesville 49. Nettleton improves to 18 and six on the season. They are seven and five in conference. Batesville falls to eight and 18, one and 11. The JOSM player of the game, brought to you by Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. They've been getting you back in the game for more than 40 years. Congratulations. To Mackenzie Williams, the 5'11 junior, is your JOSM player of the game. Mercy, what a great game she had. 24 points on the night for the girl they call the Juice. I'm not sure how many rebounds she had. I'd say she had 10. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a double-double for Mackenzie Williams. Ordinarily, my dear sweet wife, Lindsay, is here helping me out with stats, but Lindsay's home taking care of Cole Dirty, who had some uh, oral surgery today, and, and so she's being a mama tonight, and she is a good one. Appreciate Lindsay, all the work she does for our school, for our broadcast, but the JOSM player of the game is Mackenzie Williams, who scored 14 points in the first half and 10 points in the second half. 24 on the night for McKenzie, JOSM player of the game. Aubrey Butler had 11. Donna Douglas had 15. I guess I should have said Donna's first. Donna had 15. Huge night for D1 Donna. Aubrey Butler had 11. So that's three Lady Raiders in double figures. Kyla Williams, 7. Akira James, 6. Kiki Brown, 2. As for Batesville, they were led by Anaya Poole with 19 and Abby Hurley with 17. So the Lady Raiders win it tonight, folks. They went at 65 to 49. Don't you go anywhere. We're going to take a three-minute break. When we come back, we'll get you set up for the boys game. We'll have the First National Bank pregame show brought to you by First National Bank, where they put you first always. But this has been the Domino's Pizza postgame show for the girls game. Successful night for the Lady Raiders. Make game night even better by ordering online at dominoes.com or from the Domino's app. Back in three minutes, more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network.
Evolve Bank and Trust is now bringing full-service banking to Jonesboro. To celebrate, we're offering you $200 extra. Just open a new checking account with Evolve. Have at least two qualifying direct deposits of $500 or more within 90 days. Then we'll deposit $200 extra into your account. It's just that easy. Open a new Evolve checking account and receive an extra $200 in your account, plus free checks for a year. Restrictions apply. Visit getevolved.com slash special promotion for more details. Or come in and see us at 111 East Huntington Avenue, Suite A. Or call us at 870-933-2480. That's 870-933-2480. Evolve Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender. Member FDIC. Did you know you have access to medical weight loss within the only integrated health system in Northeast Arkansas? Get a head start on your 2023 health and fitness by booking an appointment with the NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic. Crush your goals and feel the results while saving money with the lowest cash price in town. Call 936-8000 to book your appointment with the NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic and let nurse practitioner Angie Jones tailor a plan specifically for you. That's 936-8000, NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic. Medical weight loss you can trust. Best savings anywhere at First National Bank. For a limited time only, a 13-month CD special at 4.03 annual percentage yield. You can visit fnbank.net slash specials to lock in your rate today. Also available by visiting any of our 23 locations in Arkansas and Tennessee. 13 months, 4.03 APY at First National Bank. Offer valid as of November 17, 2022. Rate subject to change. Valid at all locations. $1,000 minimum to open. Penalty for early withdrawal. Member FDIC equal housing lender. Get huge savings now at every Kavanaugh dealership. Kavanaugh has a great selection of late model, low mileage, certified pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. And most are still under factory warranty. We have every every model, so you're sure to find the vehicle you want. And when you buy it, Kavanaugh, every new and used purchase comes with one year free maintenance. Plus, we buy cars. Bring a vehicle, get a check. Come see us today at one of our dealerships or go to KavanaughCars.com. For more than 40 years, one of the best teams anywhere has been the one at Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. They're experts at getting you back in the game. If you have an athlete in your life dealing with elbow, knee, or ankle pain, or maybe you've got a nagging injury keeping you away from the activities you love most, go see the doctors at JOSN. Call 932-1820. Visit their Facebook page and at JonesboroOrtho.com. Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, excelling in our field so you can excel on on yours. And we welcome you to the First National Bank pregame show here at Batesville. Our pregame coverage brought to you by First National Bank, where they put you first. Always. Nettleton getting set to take on Batesville in the nightcap. The Lady Raiders won the first game, and the guys trying to make it a clean Raiders sweep. The starters are being called out right now. Starting for Nettleton, it's going to be the electrifying Taylor Smith, D Rock City, D Roderick Moton. Also starting for Nettleton, JT14, Jamari Thomas, Jordan Pegram, the two time All State defensive lineman, and big 6 7 junior Deshaun Jackson. Baseball will counter with Raphael Thomas, Matthew Hendricks, Jeremiah Strickland, Brett. Uh, Corey Cothran and Shane Dunlap. Nettleton is coming into this game second place in conference. As a matter of fact, the, La the uh, Raiders have locked up second place in conference. Uh, they're going to be the number two seed unless they can catch Marion, who is the number one team in conference. That's going to be awfully hard to do. I'm not going to lie to you. Marion, awfully good. They're 11 0. Nettleton is 9 2 in conference. Stranger things have happened, but at worst, Nettleton's going to be the number two seed out of the 5A East in the state tournament. What a season by these Raiders. I tell you the truth, there's not one guy on here on the floor right now that started last year, and they have, they have gone through the 5A East, with the exception of Marion, they have gone through the 5A East like X likes through the proverbial Witter Woman. Nettleton... Deshaun Jackson set to tip. Batesville gets the tip, and the Pioneers with the ball. Matthew Hendricks at the jump circle, just across half court, working against the electrifying one. Taylor Smith, 
That's Cothran. Cothran missed the game where we played against Batesville at home, and that's one big reason why we blew them out, 70 to 42. Batesville's in last place in the 5A East. They've only won one conference game. That came against Valley View. Three-pointer is good. Shane Dunlap gets the score and started. It's three to nothing Pioneers. The electrifying Taylor Smith passes to Deshaun. D-Rock City drives the lane, misses the shot. Jordan Pegram with the rebound. The big man can't get the layup to fall. D-Rock City with the rebound, misses the shot. Batesville gets the rebound. Cothran with the ball, left wing. Three ball is no good by Batesville, and they get the offensive rebound. The drive, ball goes out of bounds off of Batesville. Shane Dunlap, and it's going to be Raider ball. Seven minutes to play here in the first quarter. Batesville with a three to nothing lead over your Nettleton Raiders. D-Rock City to Jordan Pegram. Now Taylor Smith, the electrifying junior, has the ball stolen away by number four, Raphael Thomas. Stolen back by the electrifying one, and then he turns it over. Three ball, Thomas, it's no good. Stick back, no good. Jordan Pegram with the rebound to Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith, slam dunk. The electrifying Taylor Smith with Authority slams the ball home. The score is now Batesville three, Nettleton two. That was a statement right there by Taylor Smith. Batesville with the ball. Thomas from three, no good. And the electrifying Taylor Smith gets the rebound. Passes to Jordan Pegram. Jordan Pegram with a nifty reverse layup. It's good. And Nettleton has a 4-3 lead. Athletic play by the big cat, Jordan Pegram. He is... Next level, I think he's next level in a couple of different sports, but he showed a next level play right there in basketball. Cothran with the ball for Batesville, right wing. To the corner, now to Dunlap, left wing. Dunlap fires up a three, it's no good. Nothing but air. The old air ball out of bounds, and it is Raider ball. Nettleton with a 4-3 lead, 5.44 to play in the first quarter. De Roderick Moton, De Rock City, walks it across the half court line, directing traffic. The Raiders senior, De Roderick Moton, passes to Jamari Thomas, JT 14. It's Jordan Pegram from just inside the three point line. Jordan Pegram sinks the J, and now Nettleton has a six to three lead over Batesville. The electrifying Taylor Smith knocks the ball away from Matthew Hendricks and it'll be Batesville ball. They will inbound near sideline right in front of Keith Westbrook. Jordan Pegram with the steal. Pegram drives, shoots, makes it. Jordan Pegram with the layup. He's got six points. Nettleton has eight. They have an eight to three lead over Batesville. Batesville takes a timeout with 5'10 remaining in the first quarter. Nettleton leads eight to three. Back in 30 seconds, Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. You raised your family here. Did every July 4th here refinish the floors here twice? Sized up your daughter's boyfriends here? Waited in the doorway all day when your son was coming home on leave. This place has given you all you've dreamed of and now it's giving again in the form of a gourmet kitchen and the quietest dishwasher known to man. Realize your dream with a home equity line of credit from Simmons Bank. Dreams realized. SimmonsBank.com. Member FDIC equal housing lender subject to credit approval. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Nettleton up 8-3 over Batesville. Dunlap driving for the Pioneers. Misses the layup. And Deshaun Jackson, the 6'7 junior, gets the rebound for the Raiders. JT 14. Jamari Thomas from three. It's no good. And Batesville gets the rebound. Hendricks with the rebound for the Pioneers. Hendricks. Just now gets it across half court, right at the eight second mark, maybe the nine second mark. Nearly waited too long. Pioneers on offense. The drive by Hendricks, the layup is good. Matthew Hendricks with the bucket. 
Now Jordan Pegram with the ball. Gets it into D-Rock City, and D-Rock makes the layup. Nice cut, nice pass by Jordan Pegram. Nettleton's up 10 to 5, 4 10 remaining in the first quarter. Give the assist to Pegram on that one. Dunlap from three, it's no good. And Hendricks gets the rebound, top of the key three, no good. JT 14 with the rebound for the Raiders. Here comes Jamari Thomas across half court to D-Rock City, right wing three, it's no good. And Cothran gets the rebound for Batesville. Cothran trying to go coast to coast, passes to Hendricks, and Hendricks lays it in. These baseball boys can play some basketball, folks. Do not be fooled by their 1-10 conference record. 10-7 and 10 to 7 to score. Nettleton with a three-point lead. The electrifying Taylor Smith from three. It's good. Taylor Smith, young man, can do it all. He can slam down the dunk. He's lights out from three-point land. He gives Nettleton a 13-7 to 7 lead. Hendricks with the shot. It's no good. D-Rock City fighting for the rebound. Athletic play by D-Rock trying to save the ball from going out of bounds. Unfortunately, he stepped on the baseline, and so it will be Batesville ball. They will be inbounding the ball from the baseline near their own goal. They get it in to number 13. Now then Dunlap over in the left corner to number zero. Long range three is no good. Stick back nearly falls in, but it does not, and Nettleton gets the rebound. Jamari Thomas to D-Rock City. D-Rock dribble drive, slips a little bit, passes to Taylor Smith. The electrifying Taylor Smith misses the three-pointer. 13 to seven the score. Nettleton with a six-point lead over the pioneers of Batesville. Hendricks drives, and man, he put his hand right on the soup cooler of D-Rock City and gave it a shove. You can't do that, and the referees whistled him for the foul. D-Rock is all right. He's a tough young man, but he just took a, a pie face, if you will, from Matthew Hendricks. Nettleton with the ball. Jordan Pegram passes in to Deshaun Jackson. Back out to Jordan. Pegram from three. It's no good. Off the front of the rim. And Dunlap gets the rebound for the Pioneers. Batesville with the ball. They get it into the post. Pass back out, and the shot is good. Nice shot there by number 13, Braxton Davis. 13 to nine, the score. Nettleton with a four point lead over Batesville. Less than two minutes to play here in the first quarter. Jordan Pegram passes left side to D-Rock City. De Roderick Moulton. Back to the electrifying Taylor Smith from three. The three ball is no good. And Batesville gets the rebound. Right wing. A cut pass in the number 30 and then Bucket is good underneath. Get that young man's number. That's number 11. Jeremiah Strickland makes it a two-point Raider lead. It's 13 to 11. Taylor Smith, skip pass over to D-Rock City. De-Roderick Moten. Back to Jamari Thomas. Thomas from three. It's no good. Rebound, Nettleton. Taylor Smith passes to Deshaun Jackson to D-Rock City. D-Roderick passes underneath to Jordan Pegram. Jordan Pegram with the bucket. Jordan Pegram is fouled. Pegram will be going to the line, trying to convert the conventional three-point play. His two-point bucket made it 15 to 11 with 108 to play in the first quarter, and he's going for the conventional three-point play, or as the kids like to say these days, the and one. His free throw is good. Pegram with nine points here in the first quarter. Nettleton leads 16 to 11 over Batesville. A.J. Jarrett, number zero, across half court for the Pioneers. He gets it to Matthew Hendricks, back to Jarrett. Bounce pass, missed layup. Nettleton gets the rebound. Taylor Smith with the rebound. He passes to Jamari Thomas. Jamari with a wide open lane to the bucket, and Jamari Thomas knew exactly what to do with it. Drives in, lays it in. Nettleton up 18 to 11 off the layup by JT 14. Shot blocked by the electrifying Taylor Smith. Matthew Hendricks was trying to go for the layup. Taylor Smith denied 
those plans. Into the game for Batesville's Corey Cothran, the 5'10 senior. Boy, he's a good player, too. I remember him last year. Nettleton up 18 to 11. Cothran now with the ball. Right corner three, partially blocked by Taylor Smith, and Deshaun Jackson gets it. Passes to downtown T.J. Brown. Into the game for the first time. The freshman Brown from three. It's no good, but Taylor Smith gets the rebound, and on his way back up, he's fouled. Taylor Smith will be going to the line. He will be shooting two. Raphael Thomas picks up his first personal, third team foul, and it's gonna put the electrifying 6'4 junior, Taylor Smith at the line. He'll be shooting too, trying to add to this 18 to 11 Raider lead. Smith's first free throw is good. Six points for the electrifying one, 19 to 11. Nettleton is the score, Nettleton up. Nettleton is led by Jordan Pegram. He has nine points. Jamari Thomas has a couple. D-Rock City with two as well. Taylor Smith makes his second free throw. He's got seven points. Raiders up 22-11. 15 seconds to play in the first quarter. Batesville will surely play for the last second shot. Nine seconds on the clock. Ball in the left corner, three seconds to drive the shot. It's no good, and the buzzer sounds. Nettleton leads 20 to 11 at the end of the first quarter. Back in 60 seconds with more Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. It's a mix and match special now at all Jonesboro area Domino's Pizza locations. Choose any two for $5.99 each for carryout or $6.99 each for delivery. How about a medium two-topping pizza, oven-baked sandwich, pasta in a tin, Domino stuffed cheesy bread, salad, bread twists, marble brownies, and so much more. Switch it up for lunch or dinner for the whole game. The mix and match special with any two for only $5.99 each for carryout or $6.99 each for delivery. Only at your Jonesboro area Domino's Pizza locations. Your medical needs are personal and the way you manage those needs should be personal as well. The team at Southern Home Health Care is local, knowledgeable and courteous, giving you the customized care you and your family deserve. When facing breathing challenges, the on-staff respiratory therapists at Southern Home Health Care provide support and guidance just for you and you can sleep better with the help of their CPAP and BiPAP therapy. Plus, treat your strains, sprains and pain with the help of Southern Home Health Care's high quality bracing devices. Go online to southernhomehealthjonesboro.com Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. After one quarter, Nettleton leads 20 to 11 over Batesville. The Lady Raiders won the first game by the final of 64 to 49, and the Raiders trying to make it a sweep. Here on the road, big conference 5A East road games. Next week's our last week of the season. Nettleton with the ball. The electrifying Taylor Smith with a J, it's good. Taylor Smith with nine points. Nettleton doubling up Batesville, it's 22 to 11. Cothran with the ball. Over on the left wing, he passes it to Hendricks. Back to Cothran, back to Hendricks left wing. He's picked up by Taylor Smith. He lucky to get that pass off. Taylor Smith with some tenacious defense. Thomas three ball, it's good for Batesville, 22 to 14 the score. Nettleton up over the Pioneers. Taylor Smith, ball on the left wing, passes to JT, Jamari Thomas 14. Back to the electrifying Taylor Smith. Smith from three, it's good. 12 points on the night for the electrifying Taylor Smith. Nettleton leads 25 to 14. Mercy, Cothran with the ball. Across half court, he passes to Raphael Thomas. Back to Cothran. Cothran picked up by downtown T.J. Brown. He's a freshman. Congratulations to the Raider Junior High team. They won the conference championship, the district tournament last night. Three ball from the left corner is no good. And downtown T.J. Brown gets the rebound for the Raiders. Back to downtown, and they're going to call, I believe, a... Offensive foul, yeah, charge against Taylor Smith. Second personal, that's just Nettleton's first foul. And it comes with 6.23 remaining in the second quarter. 
good, clean brand of basketball that the Raiders are playing here tonight. And they have a 25-14 lead over Batesville with 6.17 to play in the second quarter. Batesville with the ball. Dunlap at the free throw line. Passes over to the left wing. That's A.J. Barrett. They get it inside, and the ball is knocked away by the Raiders and out of bounds. It'll be Batesville ball. They got 18 seconds on the shot clock, and they will be inbounding at the baseline near their own goal. Barrett. Trying to find somebody. He does. He gets it into Raphael Thomas. Raphael misses the shot, and the electrifying Taylor Smith skies, gets the rebound, pulls it, uh, dribbles across half court, passes. T.J. Brown is going to be fouled. T.J. Brown will be going to the line. He will be shooting too. Jeremiah Strickland, the guilty pioneer. And... Downtown, T.J. Brown steps to the line. He'll be shooting two. 5.51 to play in the second quarter. T.J. misses his first. Raiders lead still at 11, 25 to 14. Again, congratulations to the Nettleton Junior High team. They're the conference champs, the district champs. They beat Green County Tech in the finals last night as T.J. Brown makes his second free throw, 26 to 14. They did so without T.J. Brown, T.J., a freshman that they moved up. Barrett misses a layup. However, the referees blow the whistle, and they're going to call a charge against Brendan Alexander, first personal, second team foul, and it's going to put A.J. Jarrett at the line. He will be shooting two. A.J.'s first shot is no good. Into the game for Nettleton. It's Braylon King. It's good to be the king. Braylon King checks in. A.J. Jarrett. Don't know if he's any kin to Double J. Jeff Jarrett. But he makes his second free throw, and the score is 26 to 15. Nettleton with an 11-point lead over Batesville with 540 to play in the second quarter. The dynamic freshman downtown T.J. Brown with the ball at the jump circle. Passes to the new age Magnum B.A. Brandon Alexander up top to D-Rock City. He's driving the paint. He shoots and misses. He can't get the finger roll layup to go in, but he's fouled. The foul is charged against Raphael Thomas. Second personal, fifth team foul. And it's going to put D-Rock City, D. Roderick Moten at the line. He's going to be shooting two. D-Rock's first free throw is good. Gives Nettleton a 27-15 lead. The NTV crew, Jerry Brooks and Blake Isbell and the TMC, we rode with the team tonight. It was Raider basketball and NTV all in one bus. Rocking down Highway 226 and 67 and 14, wherever else highways we took, hoping to bring some Spread some Raider pride far and wide. It's a steal. D-Rock City with a steal. D-Rock City lays it up. Thought about throwing down the dunk. Instead, he just laid it in. Counts the same. Nettleton up 30 to 15. Dunlap from three. It's no good. And Magnum B.A., the new age Magnum B.A., Brandon Alexander grabs the rebound. Passes to Braylon King quickly up court. Jordan Pegram from three. It's good. Jordan Pegram, he ain't no one-trick pony, folks. He's a tough post player, but he can also sink the three. Hard foul charged against Batesville. Number 30, Shane Dunlap. He knocked down the freshman, downtown T.J. Brown. And it's going to be Nettleton ball. Downtown T.J. Brown, he's, he's hurt. His left arm is hurt. He's calling out to the trainer. They're going to give him some attention. Let's hope T.J.'s all right. Jamari Thomas into the game for Nettleton. Nick is over there. I think he might have landed with his elbow on the floor. DeRodrick Moten misses a 16-foot floater and... Batesville gets the rebound. Nettleton's up 33 to 15. These Raiders have come to play tonight, folks. They've got the number two spot in conference sewed up. Who knows, with a little bit of help against our friends from Marion, they could win the outright conference championship. Two point bucket is good by Hendricks, Matthew Hendricks, and he'll be going to the, he'll be going to the line, shooting two. Jamari Thomas charged with the foul. Third team foul, and I believe that's Jamari's second personal. 
Maybe I'm wrong about that. It didn't look like I'm right about that. In any event, we'll get that worked out. The and one is good for Matt Hendricks. That makes the score 33 to 18. Nettleton up big over Batesville. Braylon King, they swinging around to Jamari Thomas in the left corner. Man, that floor is slick out there. Jamari slides a little bit, gets it to Jordan Pegram. Jordan Pegram, baseline drive, reverse layup, it's good. Jordan Pegram with 14 points on the night. He's all state, two times in football. Defensive lineman going to play football at Northwest Missouri State University next year, and he is putting on a clinic here tonight. I believe they're going to call a foul against Nettleton's Brandon Alexander, second personal, fourth team foul at the line will be Braxton Davis for Batesville. He'll be shooting two. His first free throw is good, and that makes the score 35 to 19. Nettleton with a 16-point lead over Batesville, if my math is correct, and I was trained by Charlene Jernigan and Jim McDaniel, so I think you can take whatever I say to the bank when it comes to ciphering. Second free throw by Davis is good, and that makes it a 15-point lead for Nettleton. 35 for the Raiders, 20 for the Pioneers. Shout out to Raider Nation. Glad that you're sitting along ringside with the TMC in the NEA Baptist broadcast position. NEA Baptist, that's health care for the next century. The electrifying Taylor Smith misses a 10-footer. Bra Braylon King gets the rebound, makes the bucket. It's good to be the King. Nettleton with a 17-point lead, 37-20. to 20. Good shot by Braylon. Shane Dunlap with the ball. Shane Dunlap drives the paint, misses the shot. Battle for the rebound. Cothering comes up with it, and it's stolen by Taylor Smith. Jamari Thomas underneath. Good pass to uh, Taylor Smith, but his pass is stolen by the Pioneers. From the right corner, three ball, no good by Batesville's Dunlap. Taylor Smith gets the rebound. Nettleton's up 37 to 20. Q Thompson into the game. Taylor Smith from the top of the key misses the three, and Batesville gets the rebound. Boy, they are playing fast out there. Now Batesville slows it down. They get it across the timeline. Right at the nine second mark. Cothran, left wing. Thought about pulling up, taking the three. Instead, passes to Dunlap. He misses the three ball. Q Thompson fighting for that rebound. And unfortunately, it goes out of bounds off of Q. So it'll be Batesville ball. It will inbound underneath their own goal. They trail the Raiders by 17. Nettleton 37, Batesville 20. Just over 2.20 to play in the third quarter. Three ball, no good. Batesville gets the offensive rebound. They get it in to number 13, and he's fouled by Q Thompson. 13, that's Braxton Davis. He's going to be going to the line shooting two. as Q's first personal. Fifth team foul against the Raiders in this half. Braxton Davis steps to the charity stripe. Fires up his first free throw, it's good. Man, this young man can shoot free throws. He's a perfect three for three from the stripe tonight. I don't think he can miss. I don't think there's any chance he misses this next free throw. The free throw is up, and it's no good. And the TMC gets the job done. You're welcome, Raider Nation. Nettleton up 37 to 21. Never doubt the power of the TMC jinx. Jordan Pegram sinks the basket. Jordan Pegram fouled. He's going to go to the line to attempt his second conventional three-point play of the night. The foul is charged against number 11. That's Strickland, second personal 16 foul. Jordan Pegram at the line going for the conventional three-point play, or as the kids are saying these days, the and one. Pegram gets it. And Nettleton takes a 60-second timeout. We'll take a 60-second break with him. 2-11 to play in the second quarter. Your score, Nettleton 40, Basel 21. Back in 60, Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Trucks, clothes, and fashion have changed drastically over the 68 years our family has been in the car business. But one thing that hasn't changed is the Glen Sane commitment to serving our customers and communities. Throughout our history, our customers and employees have become family. 
Our history of quality sales, service, and strong personal relationships have kept our customers coming back for over four generations. Whether you're looking to buy a GMC, Chevrolet, Buick, or Ford, the Glen Sane dealerships look forward to serving you and your family for years to come. Farmers and Merchants Bank announces the lobby of our new branch in Jonesboro is now open. The drive through is an MVP center with live video tellers 7 to 7 weekdays and 9 till noon on Saturdays. So in addition to our beautiful bank on Highland, you can also visit our new branch at the corner of Southwest Drive and Parker. More MVPs, more ATMs, more me banking at Farmers and Merchants Bank, member FDIC. Predator basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Nettleton up 40 to 21 over Batesville behind 17 points from Jordan Pegram. 2.04 to play in the second quarter. Cothran with the ball for the Pioneers. It's stolen by Taylor Smith, the electrifying one, with a windmill dunk. And Taylor Smith with 14 points on the night. Holy cow, did he ever put on a show with that one. Crowd comes alive, three-pointer no good by Batesville. Jordan Pegram gets the rebound. The big cat, Jordan Pegram, drives the paint, shoots and misses, and he's going to be whistled for the charge. Jordan Pegram, his second personal foul, six-team foul. Good job there by Batesville, picking up that charge against the big man, Jordan Pegram. Nettleton doubling up the Pioneers. Raiders 42, Batesville 21. 135 on the clock as Hendricks dribbles up the floor across the half court line to Cothran in the left corner. Hendricks with a layup. Good play there by Batesville. And it's 42 to 23. These Pioneers can play some basketball. They're down right now, but these young men are very talented. 15-footer no good by the electrifying one. Jordan Pegram gets a rebound. Braylon King back out to JT14. JT drives, shoots, misses, and Dunlap gets a rebound for Batesville. Dunlap got the scoring started in the first quarter with a three-pointer. That was the last time Batesville led. That's been all Raiders since then. That's a turnover right there. It's Taylor Smith trying to pass it to Q Thompson. His pass was a little bit errant, and Q, who is a all conference, he was a receiver. He's an outstanding receiver for the football team this year. And he couldn't haul that one in though as it was a little bit wide. Batesville with the ball, Hendricks to Cothran, back to Hendricks. Hendricks drives in, now passes to Thomas in the left wing. He sinks the three. Raphael Thomas, his second three, makes it 42 to 26. Nettleton with the lead. Jamari Thomas with the ball in the front corner. Dribbling between his legs. 15 seconds to play. Nettleton playing for this last shot. Now they're counting five. He's got to do something with it. He advances the ball, working off the screen by Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith with the ball, trying to get it underneath the Jordan Pegram and pass a little bit strong for Pegram to grab a hold of. It goes out of bounds. Batesville will inbound with five seconds remaining in the second quarter. They got five seconds to get it up the floor and get a shot. Dunlap from the far wing, and I think he stepped out of bounds, so it should be Nettleton ball. Who wants to take it out? Braylon King to inbound. We got one second to get it in and have a baseball pass type shot maybe to Put some more points on the board before half. We're leading 42 to 26. They get in at Jordan Pegram. Pegram turn around, shot. It's off the top of the backboard. Low percentage shot for sure. He was out there in Jerry Rook type territory. Shot is no good. Your score at the half, Nettleton 42, Batesville 26. Back in four minutes with the halftime show, which is brought to you by Kavanaugh Auto Group. Hey, you can see the complete inventory of Kavanaugh Auto Group from the comfort of your home. All you got to do is log on to KavanaughCars.com. Kavanaugh Auto Group halftime show when we come back. Raiders up 42 to 26 at half. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. 
ship anything anywhere at your number one shipping source. Pack Mail in Jonesboro. Bring anything to Pack Mail and they'll pack it, ship it, crate it, freight it, no matter how big, fragile, or awkwardly shaped. Since 1998, Pack Mail has been your number one shipping source. The only authorized shipper of all the major carriers UPS, FedEx, DHL, the Postal Service, and Freight Services all in one store. At Pack Mail, you have choices. Here's Pack Mail Tim to tell us more. Trey, we are the experts at finding solutions for even the most demanding shipping situations, and our experienced staff can help you choose the best option. So if you need to go to the post office, then FedEx, or all the way out to UPS terminal, and then get that international shipment to DHL, you can do it all in one fast, convenient, and friendly place. Pack Mail. See, I told you, Pack Mail ships anything, anywhere, through any shipper. Pack Mail. Voted the number one printing packaging and shipping store in Jonesboro. Don't trust your shipping needs to just anybody. Trust Pack Mail. 361 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro. Ship anything, anywhere, today at Pack Mail. Nettleson High School Athletics is brought to you by Gateway Tire and Service Center and Toyo Tires. Where there's always one thing you can count on, we go the distance for you. Before you hit the road for a trip across country or across town, drop by Gateway Tire and Service Center and check out the great deals on Toyo Tires. Whether it's tires or auto repair, you can always count on one thing. At Gateway Tire and Toyo Tires, we go the distance for you. At Gateway Tire in Jonesboro, we go the distance for you. Hello, I'm estate planning and elder law attorney Chad Oldham. More and more often today, I hear clients tell me that the only thing golden about the golden years is that it takes all the gold to grow old. Don't be a victim of rising health care and nursing home costs. Be prepared. Have a plan. Contact us today to find out how we help our clients protect and preserve assets for family and future generations. The Oldham Law Firm, 603 Southwest Drive in Jonesboro, or visit us on the web at oldhamlawfirm.com. This is Keith Bear with the Baird Auto Group. There's nothing that brings our communities together like high school sports. No matter what the scoreboard says, it's a winning feeling just to be a part of it. At Baird, we want you to have the feeling anytime you come into one of our dealerships. Good credit, bad credit, no credit, no problem. Don't buy anywhere else until you shop at Baird location near you. Don't get a bad deal. Get a Baird deal. Because why pay more? Saving service great selection to No matter what the season, it's always a great time to go to Wings to Go. Whether it's football, whether it's basketball, whether it's baseball, whether it's wrestling, whether it's anything, the wings, the salads, the hamburgers, everything they have at Wings to Go is always flavorful and it's always ready. All that has to happen is you come down and enjoy them. Happy winging from Wings to Go. Tired of slow internet? Feel like you're stuck in the old days? It's time to catch up with Empower, delivered by Craighead Electric. Thanks to Empower, you don't have to wait for high-speed internet. Our new cutting-edge technology makes our services more reliable and faster than the competition. Call 870-336-0999 to check internet availability in your area. That's 870-336-0999. Empower, high-speed internet for your neck of the woods. This is Bob Moore with More Air Conditioning, and we're celebrating February all month long. That's right, it's February because the entire month of February when you purchase a new air conditioning system for more, we'll give you a free furnace. Now is the best time to buy and save on a new energy efficient HVAC system. Call more air conditioning today, 870-336-2023 or visit us at moreac.com. Don't settle for less. You deserve more, don't settle for less. You're listening to the Nettleton Raiders on Bob FM, 1013 KIYS HD2, Walnut Ridge, Jonesboro, KIYS HD2, K231BB, College City, Jonesboro, KIYS HD4, Walnut Ridge, Jonesboro, and KIYS HD4, K267AS, Piggott. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. We want to welcome you in to the Kavanaugh Auto Group halftime show. Nettleton up 42 to 26 at half over Batesville, trying to make it a sweep as the Lady Raiders won in the previous game. We want to say a big shout out to the Kavanaugh Auto Group. In fact, if you want to see their complete inventory, you can do so from the comfort of your easy chair. All you got to do is log on to KavanaughCars.com on your computer, on your smart device, on your iPad, your iPhone. That's KavanaughCars.com, and you can see their entire inventory. We appreciate Kavanaugh Auto Group sponsoring the halftime show. And we are very thankful, Raider Nation, to tell you that the Raiders are 
Will on their way to a sweep here tonight at Batesville. The girls won in the first game, 65 to 49. Big win for the Lady Raiders, big key conference win. And the their male counterparts up 42 to 26 at half. Nettleton trailed early as Batesville got out to a three to nothing lead, but Nettleton quickly erased that lead. And by the end of the first quarter, the score was 20 to 11. Taylor Smith scored seven points. Jordan Pegram was a leading scorer in the first quarter. He had nine points. So it was 20 to 11 at the end of the first quarter. Nettleton outscored Batesville 22 to 15 in the second quarter. That sets the score at 42 to 26. Nettleton up over Batesville. Nettleton is led by Jordan Pegram, the two-time All-State defensive lineman on the football field, getting it done on the basketball court. He has 17 points. He is joined in double figures by the electrifying Taylor Smith. The 6'4 junior has 14 points, four of which came on unbelievable electrifying slam dunks. I don't call him electrifying just because I think it sounds cool. The young man is an electrifying player. Taylor Smith, very exciting to watch. He's also sank a couple of three-pointers in this game as well. He's perfect two for two at the free throw line. Taylor Smith with 14 points. Also for the Raiders, DeRoderick Moten has six. Braylon King has two. It's good to be the king. And Jamari Thomas, the 5'10 junior, he has two for Nettleton as they lead Batesville 42 to 26 at half. As for the Pioneers, they are led by Matthew Hendricks with nine points. We will take a three minute break when we come back. Second half, Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Back in three. Three. Put your daily office routines in the hands of people you can trust. Forest Office Machines, your authorized sharp document systems dealer in Jonesboro. That's right, since 1965, Forest Office Machines has provided dependable office equipment and reliable service. We follow the equipment journey through all kinds of changes and developments, always on the cutting edge, whatever that is. And our partnership with sharp document systems means we offer the very latest, most dependable equipment. And Forest is the only office equipment dealer that when you need supply, You can walk in our store and get it. And when you need it fixed, you can call us. This is Barry Forrest. My family's been taking care of equipment needs of businesses just like yours since 1965. I would love to work for you today. Put your daily office routines in the hands of people you can trust. Forrest Office Machines, your authorized sharp document system dealer at 1005 G Street in Jonesboro, 932-7852, 932-7852. Call Forrest Office Machines today. You up your truck. Implaza Tire Service is here to help you make it even better with custom wheels, leveling kits, and the area's best selection of light truck tires, ATs, mud tires, and RTs up to 35s and bigger. Plaza Tire Service has the tires you want in stock today, and we'll help you select a great combination that gets your truck exactly the way you want it. In Jonesboro and South Caraway, and now at our newest location on East Johnson Avenue, the biggest selection, the best service, and the lowest prices on light truck tires are at Plaza Tire Service. When you bank at First Security, you're choosing better for yourself and fellow Arkansans. Better service from friendly professionals who really invest in your goals. Better solutions with convenient tools and smart resources. And better support for the things that matter to you, as well as the communities that matter to us all. Because finding your better at First Security makes Arkansas better too. First Security. Bank better. Member FDIC. For 10 years, Arkansas Children's Hospital Jonesboro Clinic has delivered the highest quality pediatric care. Whether it's a follow-up visit for a heart condition or genetic screening for a baby on the way, we're right here in town. Our team is growing to meet the needs of the kids of Northeast Arkansas. So you don't have to hop on the highway for expert care. We wake up every day ready to make kids better today and healthier tomorrow. Visit archildrens.org slash NEA. Demo Smokehouse Barbecue on Johnson at Hilltop and on Main Street across from Jonesboro High School. Now, I'm from Memphis, and I know barbecue, but there are people from Memphis that travel to Jonesboro to sample, taste, and enjoy Demo's Barbecue. No kidding. They come from Memphis, so no need to go anywhere else. Right here, the best barbecue is at Demo's. Any of the ribs, any of the plates, you can enjoy it all at Demo's Smokehouse Barbecue. My mouth is watering. Watering. 
And we welcome you back to this broadcast of Nettleton Raider Basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. We're about 45 seconds away from the second half tipping off here in the boys game, a game in which the Raiders lead Batesville 42 to 26. The girls game, Nettleton defeated Batesville 65 to 49 as Nettleton trying to make the state tournament for the first time in the last couple of years, they missed it the last couple of years, so this will be the first time in three years that the Lady Raiders have made the state tournament. The guys have already punched their ticket to the state. They've already got the number two seed sewn up. So a heck of a season by the Raiders, and they're trying to put an uh, exclamation point on it with these final three games. They play Batesville tonight, and then next week we – play Searcy and Valley View, both of them at Raider Gym. So there's your plans for next week, Tuesday and Friday night. Come out and support the Raiders. 16 minutes to play in this game. Third quarter, just getting underway. Nettleton up 42 to 26. Cothran with the ball for Batesville. Batesville with the first possession. Hendricks from three, it's no good. Baseball gets the rebound. Raphael Thomas misses the three. Boy, D-Rock City, he can jump out of the gym. He jumps up, grabs the rebound out of thin air, passes to Taylor Smith to Jamari Thomas. Jamari over to D-Rock City. D-Rock baseline drive. The layup is good. DeRodrick Moten with eight points on the night. Nettleton up 44 to 26. Cothran with the ball for the Pioneers to Dunlap, left wing. Trying to get it inside to their big post, Jeremiah Strickland. He's a 6'4 senior, but the pass was a little bit tall, a little bit high, and it goes out of bounds. That's a turnover. It's Nettleton ball. Dear Roderick Moton, number one for the Raiders. Brings the ball across half court. Now Jamari Thomas from three. It's good. JT 14, nothing but net. Nettleton up 47 to 26. Batesville trying to counter a three ball. No good. And Batesville gets the rebound. Back to the top of the key. Dunlap now over to Thomas, or Cothran, excuse me. Back to Dunlap. Hendricks drives, good defense there by JT14 and Jordan Pegram. They bounce pass it into Dunlap. Jordan Pegram picks the pocket, loose ball, and it's going to be called a backcourt. As soon as Matthew Hendricks touched it, they called a backcourt on Batesville, and so Nettleton will have the ball, and they're going to inbound it from the baseline near their own goal. DeRodrick Moton to inbound. His Raiders have a 47 to 26 lead over Batesville with 6.25 to play in the third quarter. They get the ball to D-Rock City. DeRodrick Moten trying to get it, excuse me, Taylor Smith trying to get it into D-Rock Moten. He throws it out of bounds and it's gonna be Batesville ball. Coach Bubba Deaton unhappy about something down there and he's registering his displeasure with the officials. Baseville with the ball. Cothran picks up his dribble, and now it's a turnover. Taylor Smith with the steal, drives, passes to D-Rock Moten. D-Rock is fouled. DeRodrick will go to the line, and he will be shooting too. The foul is charged to Shane Dunlap. Second personal foul. First team foul this half. It comes with 6.05 remaining in the second quarter. Nettleton up 47 to 26. DeRodrick Moten at the free throw line. Want to say a great big get well message to Nakia Eggerson, the daughter of the great Queen Z, Zaria, Zaria Scales. Uh, Nakia recuperating from a bad fall, and she's doing a whole lot better, and we're thankful for that. Raider Nation, send your prayers up for Nakia. We're sure glad that she is doing better and taking in the game tonight at home and not in the hospital, so we're sure thankful that Nakia is doing good. Second free throw was good by D-Rock City, and in the ensuing possession, the ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be out of bounds off of Nettleton. So Batesville will inbound far sideline. The Raiders lead 48 to 26 with six minutes remaining in the third quarter. Inbound pass is stolen. Now it's taken back by Batesville. Cothran passes to Dunlap. Dunlap from three. It's good. Good shot there by Shane Dunlap. His second three-pointer of the night makes it 48 to 29. 
Three ball by Jordan Pegram is no good. Nettleton's D-Rock City gets the rebound. DeRodrick Moten passes back up top to Jamari Thomas. Jamari to Jordan Pegram. Jordan Pegram battling his way toward the rack. Shoots and scores. A 10-foot basket by Jordan Pegram. 19 points on the night by the big cat Jordan Pegram. 50-29. to 29. Nettleton up big over Batesville. Three ball is good by Raphael Thomas, his third three of the night. He's got nine points. The score is now 50 to 32, Raiders up by 18. Deshaun Jackson with the ball, dribbling in, has his shot blocked by Jeremiah Strickland and the Pioneers get it. Three ball, Hendricks, no good, D-Rock City with a rebound. 50 to 32, Raiders up 18 as D-Rock hustles it across the timeline, pulls up, he shoots the J, he makes the J, D-Rock City with 12 points, Nettleton up 20, 52 to 32. Mercy, ball nearly stolen, Rafael Thomas drives, layup is no good, but he's fouled, he's gonna go to the line, he's gonna be shooting two. Foul is charged against Deshaun Jackson, second personal, first team foul. It comes with 434 remaining in the third quarter. It'll put Thomas at the line, and he's going to be shooting too. Also want to say get well wishes to NTV student. Raider football player, Kobe Miller, had his wisdom teeth taken out today. He is convalescing at home. Ordinarily, Kobe would be running camera for us tonight, but he is at home. Three ball by Batesville after the missed free throw and the offensive rebound. It's no good. JT 14 with the rebound. D-Rock City baseline drive. D-Rock City misses the layup and they're going to call a charge on Jay Roderick. That's his second personal, second team foul. Uh, they say it's his first personal, so D. Roderick with his first personal. I'll go with what they say. First personal against D-Rock. And second team foul. Nettleton's up 52 to 33, just over four minutes to play in the third quarter. And Coach Bubba Deaton, I believe, just got a bench warning, perhaps. Not sure. In any event, downtown TJ Brown checking in. The referee blew his whistle, pointed toward the Raider bench. That might have been what they call a bench warning. Turnover. Jamari Thomas with the steal. He passes to the electrifying Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith makes the layup. It's good, and he's fouled. Foul charge against A.J. Jarrett. First personal, second team foul. And Taylor Smith will be going to the line shooting the and one. He's got 16 points on the night. Nettleton's up 54 to 33. Taylor Smith misses the and one. And Batesville gets the rebound. Nettleton's up. By 21, Jarrett passes to Hendricks. Hendricks, spin move, driving the paint, loses the handle on the ball. It's out of bounds off of Batesville. Nettleton will inbound. Downtown T.J. Brown right in front of the Pioneer mascot. And Nettleton walking it across the half court line. Nettleton up by 21. There's no reason to hurry. They get it into Jordan Pegram. Shot partially blocked, grabs it again, puts the ball in the old peach basket. 21 points for Jordan Pegram. Nettleton's up 56 to 33. Foul charge against Nettleton. It's going to put Braxton Davis at the free throw line shooting two. That's downtown T.J. Brown, his first personal third team foul. It comes with 333 remaining in the third quarter. And it puts Braxton Davis at the line shooting two. Nettleton leads by 23, 56 to 33. The first free throw is good from the hand of Braxton Davis. Raider students, Nettleton students are watching the game at home. Here's a little gift from the TMC. Just stay home Monday. Take Monday off. No reason to come to school on Monday. The TMC has spoken. Take that day off. Enjoy a nice long weekend. Enjoy a Raider sweep which what, what we're on our way to bringing you here tonight at Batesville. Second free throw, no good. Nettleton with the ball. They get it in to Deshaun Jackson. The 6'7 junior misses the layup, and Batesville gets the rebound. 
3.14 on the clock as Raphael Thomas works against the electrifying one. Good defense there by Taylor Smith. He forces a travel on Raphael Thomas as he picks up his dribble, scooted his foot. You can't do that. They called the travel, and Nettleton will get the ball. Downtown TJ Brown to TJ for JT14. TJ JT. And they're going to call a charge against Deshaun Jackson. That's his third personal. Good job there by Shane Dunlap picking up that charge. You can bet Batesville's coach likes to see that kind of play from the tough 6'1 junior Shane Dunlap. Good play by Shane picking up the charge on Deshaun. Rafael Thomas has a step, misses. And misses the layup. Nettleton gets the rebound. Taylor Smith to downtown. T.J. Brown to Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun to JT14. The electrifying junior Taylor Smith. Downtown T.J. Brown from three. It's no good, but Deshaun Jackson is there to get the rebound and lay it in. Nettleton up 58-34. to 34. That's a 24-point lead. Raider Nation, you know what the TMC is rooting for right now. Starts with an M. Rhymes with Dursey. I'm ready for the mercy rule. It's a steal. T.J. Brown has his shot blocked. I can't believe that's not a foul. Come on, ref. They just basically knocked T.J. Brown senseless. No foul call. Mercy, Daddy. Baseball with the ball, and now they're, they didn't call a foul. I started to say now they're going to call a foul on Jordan Pegram, but they don't. It's a jump ball. 153 to play in the third quarter. Nettleton up 58-34. The possession arrow is pointing Nettleton's way. And so Nettleton will inbound. Taylor Smith to Jamari Thomas. T.J. Brown, Deshaun Jackson, Jordan Pegram also on the floor with Nettleton. They're wearing their rolled gold uniforms, Vegas gold. Taylor Smith, left wing, passes back to Jamari Thomas. Jamari gets it into downtown T.J. Brown. T.J. goes up with it. And... It's going to be out of bounds, Batesville ball. I think the shot might have hit the top of the backboard. I got a rail in front of me. I can't see everything that's going on out there. <laughs> but I do want to say a shout-out to the nice folks at Batesville. They provided a place for me to broadcast from. Turnover, Nettleton ball. They were very cordial, very kind when I got here. I guess it's the athletic director. He's put us up here in the crow's nest. We got plenty of room for me and Blake. Scary Jerry, we're glad to be bringing you the basketball game tonight. Whoo, mercy. Taylor Smith from three is no good. T.J. Brown with the rebound. Stick back, no good, but he's fouled. So downtown T.J. Brown will be at the line, and he's going to be shooting two. Fouls charged to number four, Rafael Thomas, third personal, third team foul. Shout out to Ryan James. Back in the EAB studio, he's pushing buttons. He's running wheels of steel. He is making sure we stay on air. That's oftentimes a challenge at these away games. Ryan does it as good as anybody in the business. We appreciate Ryan James. T.J. Brown makes the layup. That makes the score, Nettle, not the layup, the free throw, makes the score Nettleton 59, Batesville 34. T.J. Brown's second free throw is no good, but Jordan Pegram gets the offensive rebound. And as the ball stripped away from him and out of bounds, it's going to be out of bounds on Batesville. So Nettleton will inbound. 25-point lead with 1.07 to play in the third quarter. And I say to Coach Deaton, leave those starters in until we get to 30. Let's run that turbo clock. TMC would. And I believe that's a, a travel call, I believe, on T.J. Brown. In any event, it's a some sort of infraction against Nettleton and It'll be Batesville ball. I'm riding the bus home tonight with the guys, so I've got about an hour ride in front of me. I wouldn't mind being home as early as possible. Come on, turbo clock. Hendricks misses an eight-footer in the middle of the lane, and Nettleton gets the rebound. Downtown, T.J. Brown. Right corner, passes to Deshaun Jackson at the top of the key. Over to Braylon King. It's good to be the king. He dishes it in to T.J. Brown, and T.J. Brown is fouled on his way up. 
The foul is charged against Jeremiah Strickland, third personal, fourth team foul. And it's gonna put the dynamic freshman, T.J. Brown, at the line. He'll be shooting two. T.J. was the quarterback of the junior high team this year, which was the 10-0 undefeated conference champions. They outscored their opponents 330 some odd to I think 33 points. Just a phenomenal season for the junior high Raiders. Maybe the greatest junior high team in the history of Nettleton. And, Jer and uh, downtown T.J. Brown was a quarterback. And man, he was good. A man among boys out there for sure. Nettleton up 61 to 34. Batesville with the ball. Future is bright for the Raiders in basketball and football as the junior high team won the district championship. Turnaround jump shot is good by Braxton Davis. Makes the score 61 to 36. Braylon King trying to answer. His shot is a little bit errant and Batesville gets the rebound. Here come the Pioneers. Raphael Thomas coast to coast misses the layup, but it's stuck back by Jeremiah Strickland at the buzzer. That's the end of the third quarter. Your score is Nettleton 61, Baseball 38. Back in 60 seconds with the fourth quarter. Raider basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Your vehicle is a personal and important investment. At Central Collision Center, we're more than collision repair. We do everything from minor paint touch-ups and windshield replacements to framework. We're committed to customer satisfaction and provide the highest quality of service. At Central Collision Center, we provide honest and expert auto care and offer a written lifetime warranty and on-site rental car arrangements. Stop by or give us a call today to schedule your free estimate. Central Collision Center, professional, convenient, reliable. Find Central Chevrolet on Stadium and online at centralcollisionctr.com. Whether you're replacing an old appliance or remodeling your whole kitchen, the appliances you need are right around the corner with GE Appliances at Tucker's Appliance Superstore in Jonesboro. Shop timeless designs and time-saving features on the appliances that are built to last in the busiest homes. Visit Tucker's Appliance today and upgrade your home your way with GE Appliances and your local experts. Shop Tucker's Appliance today and save. Tucker's Appliance. And we welcome you back to Batesville. Craig Miller here in the NEA Baptist broadcast position, joined by Blake Isbell and Scary Jerry Brooks. Nettleton up 61 to 38 as we start the fourth quarter. Batesville draws first blood as Jeremiah Strickland with a layup makes the score 61 to 40. The Raider lead at 21. Score nine points. We go home early. I wish there was a nine point shot. The electrifying Taylor Smith to downtown. T.J. Brown from the corner of the three ball is no good, but D. Roderick Moten gets the rebound. Passes it in to downtown T.J. Brown, who kicks it back out to Taylor Smith. Smith from three, it's no good, and Strickland gets the rebound for the Pioneers. Batesville, three ball, no good. Nettleton with the rebound. Taylor Smith with the rebound. It passes to D-Rock City. D-Rock to Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun drives the paint, misses the shot, but Taylor Smith winds up with the rebound. He sinks the basket, and he's fouled. He's going to go to the line, shooting the and one. Fouls charged to Shane Dunlap. Third personal, fifth team foul. Taylor Smith has 18 points on the night. Nettleton is led by Jordan Pegram. He's got 21. At the line is Smith. His free throw is no good. And Strickland grabs the rebound for Batesville. Nettleton leads by 23. 63 to 40 is the score. Nettleton of 63, Batesville 40. Batesville with the ball. Three ball. No good by Hendricks. Good job by Batesville. They control the rebound. Cothran from the top of the key misses the three ball and D. Roderick gets the rebound for Nettleton. Braylon King three ball is no good. Jordan Pegram bails him out with the offensive rebound and Jordan sinks the basket. That's 23 points on the night for number 24. The two-time All-State defensive lineman Jordan Pegram 65 to 40. Nettleton up by 25 over Batesville. Six minutes to play in the game. Three ball off the front of the rim, no good. Braylon King with the rebound. It's good to be the king. 6.05 on the clock as Braylon King dishes it 
to Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith loses the handle on it, finds it, passes into Taylor to TJ Brown. TJ Brown misses the shot, however, TJ is fouled. He's gonna go to the line and he'll be shooting two. The foul is charged to number 30, Shane Dunlap, fourth personal sixth team foul against Batesville. Puts TJ Brown at the line. The dynamic freshman sinks the first free throw. He has got five points on the night. All of them have come from the free throw line. Nettleton's up 66 to 40. Free throw and then a three ball, and that act activates the turbo clock. The free throw is good. Now we just need a three pointer. 67 to 40. Come on, Raiders. Help the TMC out. Let's activate that turbo clock. Raiders up by 27. Hendricks drives, shoots, misses, but the stick back is good. Good job there by Braxton Davis, and the score is 67 to 42. Now we need five points to activate the turbo clock. They get it to Jordan Pegram. Jordan from the paint, shoots, misses. D-Rock City with the rebound. D-Rock shoots and makes it. DeRoderick City with 14 points. And again, we're three points away from that turbo clock being activated as the Raiders are up by 27 here in the fourth quarter. 5.23 to play. Loose ball. Nettleton has it. Here's our chance. Timeout on the floor. Bubba Deaton calls a timeout for Nettleton. I believe that's what happened. Nah, that's not what happened. I don't know why they whistled the play dead. Maybe for a substitution. B.A. into the game. Also into the game for Nettleton is number 12, and I'm going to have to see who that is. My apologies to Raiders number 12. Let's get a three ball and go home early is Coach Deaton. There's number 12 with the three ball. It's no good. Forgive me, number 12, for not knowing your name. Um, and Batesville with the ball. I'm looking for my roster. I didn't think I would need it tonight, but here I am. Dunlap, three, no good. Rebound is being fought for, and it is, they're going to call a foul against Batesville. I believe that. Well, actually, no foul. In any event, it's the Raiders' ball. I'm digging through my stack of stuff and trying to watch the game at the same time. Forgive me. They get it into A.D., AD into the game for the Raiders, and now then they kick it back out to number 12. Number 12 misses the layup, and well, I wish Coach Deaton would keep the starters in until we activate that turbo clock. Right now it's 69 to 42, 27 point lead for the Raiders. And now I have found my roster. I'm gonna be able to call names better. Here we go, all right. The OTMC struggling up here tonight, number 12. I don't know who number 12 is. I think they called him up from the junior high game. So forgive me for not knowing number 12. I'm sorry. Magnum B.A., number three, kicks it back out to 12. From three, it's good. And number 12, my new favorite player, activates the turbo clock. Forgive me, number 12. I wish I could call your name because you just made me a happy man. 72 to 42, the score. Roll, clock, roll. Batesville misses a layup underneath. And they get it to number 23. I don't have him on my roster either. I do have number 31. Man, nifty play there by A.D. And A.D. Burnett makes it a 32-point lead. Three ball is good by number 32 for Batesville. Nettleton quickly back on the attack. 3.38 to play. Three ball, no good by number 12. I bet you he's a freshman who's just come up. Euro step. Bucket is good by number 32. And substitutions. We got a couple more Raiders going in. And I believe that's Fred Atkins who's into the game for the Raiders. Turbo clock should be going, but it ain't. And I'm going to have to file a complaint on account of that. I love it when the Raiders are up big and the turbo clock is rolling. Nettleton up 74 to 47. Whoo, mercy. What a night for Raider Nation as we're going for the sweep. Three ball, Fred Atkins, it's good. Fred Atkins with the three ball gives Nettleton a big 77 to 47 lead. Fred Adkins came in and sank the three and a whole new slew of Raiders in. Clock should be rolling, and it is. Turbo clock is rolling, 235. 
Raiders up 30 here in the fourth quarter. Batesville with the ball, three ball, it's no good. Rebound, Batesville, the stick back is good. Get that young man's number, number three. Nettleton turns it over. Batesville now with the ball. Forgive me for doing a lackluster job here. There's a whole lot of numbers and as we're in what they might call uh, garbage time. Woo, mercy. A whole lot of folks out there that I don't have the roster number for them. Number 15 for Batesville. Dishes to number 31, number 31 scores. And that is, makes the score 77 to 51. Nettleton's number 11. And forgive me for not knowing his name either. Gets it in the number 22, and number 22 with a bucket. Number 22, the PA guy didn't have his name either, and I apologize for not knowing these names. If I don't have a kid in class, I'm not going to know him. Block shot by Raiders number 20. Fred Atkins gets it. Fred Atkins driving, dishes underneath, pass a little bit strong. Results in a turnover. Batesville with the ball, one minute to play. Nettleton up 79-51. to 51. These kids are having fun out there. Number 32 with a three ball. He's got eight points. And now then they're going to make some substitutions. Number 32, I wish I could call his name for Batesville, but he's come in and made a heroic effort. Junior high season is over, and I have a feeling a lot of these guys that are not on the roster are probably freshman call-ups. Number 22 for the Raiders with the ball, and it's going to be a charge called against him, and that'll just about do it, folks. Turbo clock rolling. It's at 20 seconds. So Batesville will have one more possession, and who knows? Nettleton may have a possession, too. Shot, the clock is at 13 seconds. Fred Atkins with some tenacious defense. They call him right side Fred. Baseline drive. Shot is no good. Nettleton gets the rebound. Here come the Raiders. At the buzzer, slam dunk, number 15. And the Raiders win the game, number 15 with two points. And Nettleton wins it 81 to 54. The Raiders sweep. Lady Raiders and the Raiders both get a win. Nettleton moves to 21 and 6 on the season, 10 and 2 in conference. Baseball falls to 5 and 23, 1 and 11. Give me, I tell you what, give me three minutes. And I will total all this up. We'll have the post-game show. Post-game show brought to you by Domino's Pizza. You can order online at dominoes.com or from the Domino's app. Why don't you go ahead and do that during this three-minute break. We'll have the Domino's post-game show when we come back. Back in three, Raider basketball on the NTV AAB Sports Network. All Bank & Trust is now bringing full-service banking to Jonesboro. To celebrate, we're offering you $200 extra. Just open a new checking account with Evolve. Have at least two qualifying direct deposits of $500 or more within 90 days. Then we'll deposit $200 extra into your account. It's just that easy. Open a new Evolve checking account and receive an extra $200 in your account, plus free checks for a year. Restrictions apply. Visit getevolved.com slash special promotion for more details. Or come in and see us at 111 East Huntington Avenue, Suite A. Or call us at 870-933-2480. That's 870-933-2480. Evolve Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender. Member FDIC. Farmers and Merchants Bank announces the lobby of our new branch in Jonesboro is now open. The drive through is an MVP center with live video tellers 7 to 7 weekdays and 9 until noon on Saturdays. So in addition to our beautiful bank on Highland, you can also visit our new branch at the corner of Southwest Drive and Parker. More MVPs, more ATMs, more me banking at Farmers and Merchants Bank. Member FDIC. Five years of memories, 25 years of smiles, opportunities, and friends. 
25 years of community. Because of you, we've forged long-lasting partnerships that have made our communities better. We can all agree that a lot has changed in 25 years, but our promise to always be a true community bank remains the same. Our roots run deep. Our commitment to you runs deeper. We are celebrating 25 years of First Community Bank, and the best is yet to come. Member FDIC, Equal Opportunity Lender. Did you know you have access to medical weight loss within the only integrated health system in Northeast Arkansas? Get a head start on your 2023 health and fitness by booking an appointment with the NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic. Crush your goals and feel the results while saving money with the lowest cash price in town. Call 936-8000 to book your appointment with the NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic and let nurse practitioner Angie Jones tailor a plan specifically for you. That's 936-8000, NEA Baptist Weight Management Clinic. Medical weight loss you can trust. Best savings anywhere at First National Bank. For a limited time only, a 13-month CD special at 4.03 annual percentage yield. You can visit fnbank.net slash specials to lock in your rate today. Also available by visiting any of our 23 locations in Arkansas and Tennessee. 13 months, 4.03 APY at First National Bank. Offer valid as of November 17, 2022. Rate subject to change. Valid at all locations. $1,000 minimum to open. Penalty for early withdrawal. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. And we welcome you back to Raider Basketball on NTV and the EAB Sports Network. Craig Miller and Blake Isbell welcoming you in to the Kavanaugh Auto Group Halftime Show as Nettleton wins this one, 81 to 54. And Blake, I know you wore about a half a dozen hats up here tonight, directing the broadcast, calling a little bit of color, running the camera. But I'll tell you what, it's going to be a happy bus ride tonight after the Raiders sweep Batesville here tonight. Oh, heck yeah, man. I mean, it was pretty great to see all, all that balling, as they say. <laughs> I thought it was pretty rad, man, and I can't wait to get home and sleep in my nice bed. Well, I'm glad to hear that, bro, and I appreciate you helping us out. Hand the, the uh, um, headset over to Coach Bubba Deaton. Coach Deaton, your, um, your Raiders have got number two seed – sewn up yep. in the Conference 5A East, and it looks to me, after tonight's performance, they're clicking all, all cylinders at yeah, the right we, time. Yeah, I thought we played well. Uh, had a good uh, first quarter there. Jordan's come up here too, uh, Mr. Miller, after I get done. All right, then. Well, uh, hey, that's good because he's the player of the game. So I go, figured go so. Ahead. I figured so, but, <laughs> you know, we once again we got three in double figures and you know, a couple more with six or eight. Uh, we shot the ball well tonight, uh, made a bunch of threes. Um, we just continue to get better. You know, you've seen us the last couple games. I, I feel like we're peaking at the right time, uh, getting stops when we need to, uh, sharing the ball. Uh, it's just a good win to get to 21. Got two more at home next week. We're going to try to get to get to 23. And, you know, using a baseball term, I mean, mathematically we're not eliminated from one. Right. I don't know how the Tech, Cersei, or the Tech Marion game went tonight, so – you know, uh, we can't fall below the two. Right. So we're at right. least, at worst case, we're the two. It's a good place to be. It's kind of nice seeing these teams battle it out and not have to be in the middle of it. Not so, have to worry uh, about it. That's, that's You know, our goal when we started this was, you know, win your way in, not have to worry about anybody else. And I feel like we've done that. Uh, score, what, 81, 81 points. Uh, you know, you, you can't you can't complain about that on the road. Uh, uh it's just kind of a trap game, you know. You you look at Batesville's record; uh, it's not indi indicative of how good they are. You know, they got a pretty good team, so um, we played well. Man, I'm I'm out of breath from climbing up these stairs. Hey, they put us up in the crow's nest. Yeah, it's a good view up here. Yeah, it ain't bad. Yeah, it ain't. I'm just glad they gave us a place to we broadcast from. Yeah, us. we played the we played better than we played last time in this place where we Had snuck out of here by the. Uh, Brandon Anderson yeah, with uh, a yeah. last second buzzer yeah, beater, yeah, three on ball, a last second shot. So. Uh, you know, the, the thing that I like most about these, these guys, they like playing together. Yep. They, you know, they share the ball. Uh, they bought into who our best players are and who needs to, who needs to have the ball. You know, and, you know, Jordan hadn't had great offensive games the last couple of games. Deshaun's been kind of the man down there, and then Jordan goes off for 23, you know, and probably doesn't play much in the fourth quarter. So uh, it's good to kind of see him get going. But. You know, we're going to enjoy this one on the weekend and get ready for, you know, got Valley View coming in on Tuesday and go from there. I love it, Coach. One yep. more week to go and then yeah. the state tournament. Yep. Uh, enjoy your long weekend. And, I will. And don't forget, I need to ride home, so don't run off and leave well, me, all right? Well, yeah. 
catch the bus because I'm going to the lake house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, nice. I'll catch nice. you Tuesday. I appreciate the invitation. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, it, we just didn't have enough beds for you. Well, I know that was the only reason you didn't invite me. Yeah. I so, know otherwise uh, I'd be, be yep. right there with, the, be Deaton, right there. with the Deaton family. Yep. Hey, thanks a lot, Coach appreciate Deaton. You. That's, that's yep. Coach Deaton. And we want to we welcome into the uh, NEA Baptist broadcast position – Healthcare for the next century, the player of the game. And the player of the game is brought to you by JOSM. That's Jonesboro Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. They've been getting you back in the game for more than 40 years. The player of the game is the man who had a game high 23 points. I'm talking about the two time All State defensive lineman, the outstanding basketball player as well, just an all around good guy. It's Jordan Pegram. Jordan, we, we got to keep on meeting like this, man. Yes, sir. How many times has it been for you this year, player of the game interview? Two, two times, two or three times. Two times in basketball, at least once in football yeah. as well. I love it, bro. Hey, road game, you come in against Batesville, who's a little, you know, a little bit down, one in 10 on the season. Um, people who are smart about sports, they often call these types of games trap games. You know, you kind of look over them, you get your tails beat. Y'all didn't let that happen. It seems like y'all are really playing well at a good time here. Yes, sir. No doubt about it. Um, I know that you had 23 points leading the team. Shout out some of your other guys who had a big game tonight. Taylor, I, yeah, Taylor, me and Taylor were like real close with each other in the first half. He had D-Rock, and then Deshaun played a good game too, also TJ. Yeah, yeah, downtown TJ Brown. How about that? The junior high Raiders get the district championship last night without downtown TJ Brown. Yeah. He, they moved him up earlier in the season. He contributed tonight six points. Hey, he's made y'all a better team. Yes, I agree with that. He did. And of course, the great Curtis Smith, the playmaker, uh, he moved away for a little while. That uh, TJ Brown is coming in yeah. and, and kind of spelling the playmaker a little bit. Yeah. You guys had three, three and. Uh, and uh, double figures tonight. The electrifying Taylor Smith had 18. De Roderick Moten had 14. Man, I'm looking at you guys. You're a senior. De Roderick is a senior. Uh, Braylon is a senior. Pretty much everybody else is underclassmen. Uh, Y'all got a good team this year. You're going to be good next year yeah. as well. Our team is very young. No doubt about it. And you're fun to watch. And, man, I'm excited about uh, – the run that y'all have the potential to make in the state tournament. It's going to be fun to watch y'all, Jordan. Congratulations, man. 23 points. Congratulations on being named a player of the game. Thank you. Yes, sir. Very proud of you. That's Jordan Pegram. He is the JOSM player of the game. Hey, Jordan, do me a favor. Don't let them leave without me, all right? We, we got to we got to take the uh, equipment down, me and Scary Jerry and Blake, and uh, we'll we'll meet you down there at the bus in just a few minutes. That's Jordan Pegram, the player of the game. He led the Raiders with 23 points tonight. He's a two-time All-State defensive lineman. And let me tell you something on the down low. I wouldn't want Jordan to know I said this, but he's about the nicest kid in the school. Uh, everybody at Nettleton loves Jordan. He's a, a big guy. I guess he's probably about 6'3", 260. I guess that's what he he moves like a cat. I mean, he is a phenomenal athlete but he's just as gentle and kind of a soul as anybody that you would meet and he's been raised right his uh